We're a minute late. Yeah. Fuck it, we're a minute late, right? What? <laughs> we're only a minute late. You don't even have to start worrying until they're a couple weeks late. I know, right? <laughs> then you gotta panic. Babe, I'm late. No, you're on time today. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you don't understand. I'm late. I'm late. <laughs> Fuck. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Staircase, here we come. Okay, now that I know we're broadcasting live, I can hit the music. <laughs> this program is intended for a mature audience. If you are not 18 years old, stop listening and find more age-appropriate comments. If you are offended by any content herein, that is your own problem as you have been warned. Do not try this at home. Release the Kraken! Because I am ready, and I will not let this opportunity slip through my fingers. Cup of coffee, man, yeah. Man! Wow, man! Get on with it. Yes, get on with it! Yes, get on with it! Oh, I am enjoying this. Get, get the fuck with on it. with it. Titties. <laughs> I actually beat Tripper on that one just for purpose sake. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Bad Habits Network, guys. I am... Oh, wow, we got a lot of people in the chat. All, oh, look All at that. three of All us. All three of us. <laughs> well, two people with three comments. <laughs> so, <laughs> welcome to Bad Habits Network. We are not broadcasting on Clubhouse because I didn't really have time to set it up. I'll be honest. Yeah. It takes a bit. <laughs> I like if you you're here. That. If you're here on Spreaker sorry. Live. Oh, sorry. <laughs> let us know in the chat. Yes, uh, I guess somehow. Um, if not. <laughs> Whatever. Titties. We'll figure out eight people are listening. It's fine. Yeah. Every, everything's fine. It's fine. Every, the place is on fire. We're drinking coffee. Everything. Well, wine, water, monster. Everything's definitely. fine. De- definitely. I'm watering and monstering. So I'm, I'm whining. Poisoning and diluting simultaneously. I'm whining. After covering such topics as Sun Tzu and, and life chess, I am not going to be drinking tonight. <laughs> that would be a poor life decision for me today. So, welcome to Bad Habits Network. Uh, yeah, I'm Gary the Hammer. It's uh, Saturday. It's Saturday. Uh, we have Tripper the Vocal. Yo. And we have Cody the Not So Vocal. Yo. Cody the Mentalist. <laughs> I'm dropping shit. I noticed. I'm trying to help. <coughs> help drop shit? Help drop shit. Always. Um, Where's the thinger dinger? What's a thing or my pants? Okay, so I'm gonna do the promo. Okay. Hey, Bronson, you want to do the promo? Okay, go. <laughs> he got you on that one. Yeah, damn it. Yeah, do you know the promo? No, no you're fired. <laughs> you're unhired. <laughs> no, you're fired. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. Hey, Daddy's live. <laughs> uh, this episode is brought to you in part by Ideal Vapor LLC.com. Check them out online. Use code BHN15% for 15% off of all of your items at checkout. Again, that's Ideal Vapor LLC.com. Check them out in Portage, Wisconsin. They have a great location on site. Nice, 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 comfortable lounge. Uh, nice, 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 nice pool table. You can actually vape and pool. I love it. It's it's a great place. Uh, great, knowledgeable staff. They have a CBD plus section there, and it is just fantastic. Great knowledge on CBD as well. So if you got any weird questions like, "Hey, is this going to get me, you know, a, a hot piss test?" You're going to get answers like, "Are you stupid?" But I'm joking, and maybe who knows? It is Jackie. LLC, uh, Ideal Vapor LLC.com, Portage, Wisconsin. Thousands of e juices adorn their wall. They're, they've been our longest sponsor, and we can't say anything bad about them because, you know, they'll fire us and, and they'll hurt us. They're, 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 they, got us they got us held right there. They're holding us. Ideal Vapor LLC.com. Use code BHN 15% for 15% off your purchases at checkout. Now on with the show. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Today's episode is called Poor Life Decisions. It's a really good thing nobody ever accuses us of being professional. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. That's why we come with a disclaimer. 
Uh huh. <laughs> For many reasons. <laughs> there should be rules. <clears throat> there are rules. Dem rules. Where could one find these rules? Uh, in our back catalog, I'm going to have to probably... On our backpage uh, Yeah, back... Uh, no, on our OnlyFans. <laughs> on our OnlyFans. <laughs> I don't have an OnlyFans. We don't you have... You do. You just don't know about it I was going to say, we just don't have fans. Where's my money? <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> I don't have any fans yet? How do you think he's getting residuals from the government? Mm-hmm. Where do you think all those <laughs> shit boxes in the yard come from? <laughs> Listen here. I better get some kickback on that. You got a yicked. So That's do we want to do we want to address the elephant in the room from last show or do we want to just not? There's an elephant in the room. Yeah, a huge one, pink. Cody's drinking. <sighs> I like pink things. Okay. <laughs> I don't care, but I don't. I thought we spend poke the, at the thing pink on things. it. I like poking at pink. Say again, things. Cody. I, I mean, I don't care if we t- uh, touch on it, but I don't want to spend the whole time on it. Yeah, guys, if you're a fan of this show and you're crossing over somewhere else, keep the dirty on Bad Habits Network. Just just keep it here. Mm-hmm. Just, reel just reel it in a bit everywhere else. Just, just keep it here. Keep the dirty naughty here. That's it. Remember, this corner of the internet is not real life. Yeah, this is the Twitter of the internet. You can write things on what our the bathroom fuck's wall. Twitter. Twitter is that thing. It's the bathroom wall of the internet where where you can get actually not get banned for half the shit you post on our secret group page. I feel like I should have one of those. You should actually, in my I get opinion, banned all the time. Yeah, it, 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 I got two of them the other morning. You're not even a president. You can't get banned. Oh. Well, then I'm fine. Yeah, you're fine on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> Twitter's where it's at. <laughs> Say, huh? Probably not. No. It, Unless it, they got cars on there. Like, they have a shit ton of... Like for sale? Yeah, yeah, well, I don't know. Do they have a Twitter marketplace yet? That's a good know. question. I'll have to investigate. I know they got Twitter rooms where you can actually... Rooms full of cars? Like, you can you can find other shitbox aficionados. And there's your there's your tag name, at shitbox aficionado. <laughs> it's probably taken. <laughs> probably. Tw- tweeter. Yep. So, as Cody and, and Tripper are getting on the inner tubes... I gotta find this tweeter. This tweeter? <laughs> I can't believe I'm getting you onto a fucking platform. I don't know if I'm gonna join it, but... Yeah, I was gonna say, you usually do TikTok through Cody, so... Well, that's only when I buy new shitboxes. Other than that, she seems to leave me off of there. Yeah. And, Cody, I'm, I'm going to pull you into the conversation here. I have been noticing that I got you hooked onto something lately, speaking of new formats and, oh. and platforms. Because I've been... Active. Um, I've been clubhousing before work. <laughs> before Follow Iron Sheik, you son of a bitch! I have been clubhousing before I start my shit show day at work. Yes, and, and a lot of it is... Oh, Gary's talking. <laughs> but he's yeah, not. Yeah. I know that guy. I know that guy. He's an ear today. I know that guy. <laughs> and then Johnny joined it today. No, he's actually been uh, when we started doing Bad Habits Network on Clubhouse. Mm-hmm. Like when we interviewed the lovely Robin and Miss James and a couple others. He he actually jumped in. He was one of the first Bad Habiteers to jump in to Clubhouse. Okay. And um, we, we're, we're, we're definitely going to be doing more experiments with Clubhouse. Okay. But right now, two things. I didn't have enough time to prep for Clubhouse. I didn't... It, I worked a 66-hour work week, so... Mm-hmm. Yeah, there were there was minimal time. Yeah. 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 So, uh, what were we saying? You've been following me on a, on a platform, on a stages, and you've actually been talking... I have been. And you've been identifying yourself as a mental health provider. Professional. Professional, not provider. I'm not a provider. I'm a professional. I, would I, am part, even, I wouldn't even consider you a professional. I am part. <laughs> that's why my profile says I'm a mental health professional that struggles to be professional. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm part of a clinical team, but I am not a... a He's here, a, bitches. A what you hate, J-Mac. He's here, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> J Mac is another one who, uh, if he catches me at the right time on stage, he'll just be like, "Dude, hammer!" <laughs> yeah, I did see that he is on it. Yeah, J Mac. Uh, yeah, I can't say I cannot say a bad thing about that guy. I don't I, even know him, so I can't either. Yeah, well, I, I mean, maybe I that's never stopped out. you. I was gonna say that's never stopped you from making fun of a skinny. Full unless bottomist. unless I'm following him in traffic, I probably have never said a bad thing about him. Yeah, good point. Uh, next time we're next time we're in a car together, I'll be like, "Hey, J Max, in front of us." <laughs> <laughs> this motherfucker! <laughs> this motherfucker! <laughs> Get in the back of an ambulance, you fucking twat! <laughs> oh God, it's worse than that. I know. <laughs> we're filtering it for the internet so we don't get shut down. Oh, okay, yeah, okay, Karen. We're, yeah. we're the FCC we're, is going to come through the. We're what? The. Yeah, device. we filter. Uh huh. When? What? 
when asked. I mean, I have a pop filter asked, on my... Okay. When asked, we I'm, tune I'm it not, down. I'm, I'm not asking you to tone it down. Oh, perfect. <laughs> the things that come out of my fucking mouth... Your would face make, hole? ...would make me blush on a good day. Yeah, and, and there have been a couple times where I've rode in the vehicle with you where I was like, hey, I'm using that. <laughs> <laughs> You're like... <laughs> Note. <laughs> note. I have to. I literally have to follow you around with a notebook. I could probably sometimes. start my own like video thing, like tripper. Oh yeah, we, tripper in traffic. Tripper talks. I don't know what fucking Instead platform would host that. TikTok, thing, dude. Twitter. I'd Twitter probably, would. I'd probably Twitter get would. banned on TikTok. No, TikTok too. would TikTok would ban you because you're driving, so it's a dangerous act. Yeah, but if somebody else is filming you from the passenger seat or if of I just your had best like a friend's ride, dash cam. I mean, I could be a scrub. Good lord. I mean, call back to the 1990s. Oh, uh, now, my thought is maybe Twitter. Tweet, tweeter. Yeah, just, just, but, hit, uh, just hit the talk to, talk to text. to Fiddy, <laughs> no Twitter ain't got no marketplace. So you're dissold on that. Well, you know, maybe I'll just start my own. Be like, yo. Twitter's a cult. Twitagra? <laughs> Twitter's safer never, than Facebook. I've never been in a cult. Mm-hmm. Not well, yet. Well, probably. Yeah, you're in the shitbox cult. I don't even know if that counts. Mm-hmm. Like... I started it before it was a thing. Like, I was just doing it. Fucking mint. Out here fucking living it. <laughs> and then all of a sudden people think it's cool to own a shit box. Okay, Lavin. <laughs> I'm just out here living it. I was. <laughs> you do not. I'm like third generation shit box owner here. Like, <laughs> my forefathers came to this country. We started collecting shit boxes. <laughs> That's all there is to it. You have forefathers? Does yeah. your mom know? Probably. Yeah, hey, honey, <laughs> have you ever had five guys? <laughs> six. We usually try to make a habit of making it six guys in her mouth that night. I was yep. going to say, at once? <laughs> oh, my God. TikTok references time. Oh, God. <sighs> no sitches. Oh, that you're going to kiss a fool then. Every day. Well, you are drinking blowy juice. I am. Yes. <laughs> Thanks for that, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> well, I seen I seen wine, and she was requesting she get that wine that we had last time. That mm-hmm. I shared, and I got a bottle of that. But I was like, "Oh, this one's got this one's made with bourbon as well." So, Bourbons. guys, if you uh, if you really want to share what you're drinking tonight, hit up uh, shots from the balcony of the secret group page on Facebook and just hashtag brand new drink or or shots from the balcony. I don't care. Just create a hashtag. Cheers, bitches. I don't know. Cheers, hashtag bitches. Gary Hammer. Let's not create a hashtag. Like That's that. already there. Where? It's already on our, our book. Are you serious? Yeah. People tag you and shit all the time. Well, that's there. a tag. That's an at Gary Hammer, not a, ha- not a hash no, brown. No, there's a hash. There's a hash brown Gary Hammer. Oh, motherfuck me. Okay. No. <laughs> I'll offer to rub your thighs earlier. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It's not gay if they feel like mine. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of similarities. <laughs> and Cody's looking. Cody's actually fact checking. Our HR is fact checking. I ain't fact checking shit. Good. She's just tagging you and shit. Hashtag <laughs> hash brown. That's hash not brown, chocolate. That's not chocolate. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna have to. Re- thank you for reminding me. I'm gonna have to re-release dem ep- uh, dem rules, or at least try and figure out how to pin it so that's the first one people you can just see. make up a whole new set of rules. That's, no, that's what I, the whole rest of the world's doing. I, well, apparently yes. Fuck it. Yeah, especially in the uh, especially in the medical field now. Jesus Christ, they're yeah. mobilizing the National Guard to supplement the med field. Yes, because they're all clearly qualified. Oh yeah, totally clearly. Captain Stu from fucking eighth grade that just joined up to go shoot somebody. He's like, and, yeah. Any any of us I'm have qualified. Any of us military guys or veterans that went to see the doc or just it, it's the same principle as seeing a civilian product produce military grade. Oh, you got a splinter? Anything. We're gonna have to cut that leg off. Oh yeah. Hey, no, that's you got a, a bad tooth. We're ripping them all out. Uh, it looks like impentigo, but it's probably just a fungal infection. Here, try that. <laughs> Pop six of these and uh, don't go see her. Again. Here's here's some vitamin M. Call me t- never again. And Cody, uh, vitamin M is Motrin. Ah, okay. It's it's, it's actually, great for back aches. It's great for it's great for kidney failure. No. <laughs> oh yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so guys, uh, this is your monthly reminder. Um, yeah, if any of our if any of our uh, callbacks from the '80s or '90s ring ring real present with you, uh, it's time to go talk to your doctor about a colonoscopy. Yeah, yeah, fuck <laughs> that. I'm I'm not doing one of those again. Oh, I'm looking forward to it actually. Mm-mm. I want I actually want to oh, walk. No. I want to walk out of the office and just sound like an Evan Rude motor going down the road. Oh, God. <laughs> it's the the day before lead up that's the really bad part. Like, Please elaborate. 
You have to drink magnesium citrate, I believe it is. I've done that. Citrate? I, I, yeah. I, I'm, and it just, I'm looking forward to that, actually. So, in my case, chronic diarrhea uh, already. Hold on, hold on. Uh, warning for those of you who can't handle poo talk. Those of you who are eating chili at home. <laughs> now's the time to tune in real hard. <laughs> for those of you so, with sensitive digestive constitutions. Chronic diarrhea and rectal bleeding was the complaint. So they're like, here, drink these. Two bottles worth. Okay, one how, after another. How, how big of a bottle, up. if I may ask? I think they're like 12 ounces or something. Okay, okay, so you're doing a full radiator flush. Oh, yeah, okay. you're uh, evac in the system on that one. And it was like, evac the whole system and then drink another one to evac you more. And I'm like, dude, there ain't nothing to evac here. So you found that, you found that piece of gum you had since what you ate at seven years old. Violent, that was already long gone. Violently. <laughs> Violently <laughs> excreting water. Oh, wow. Like, high-velocity water splatter and, like, stomach bile. It was fucking awful. Okay. And then they're like, yeah, cool. Now we're going to knock your ass out and run a camera up you both directions. The, you got knocked out. Well, they don't totally put you out, but you're like, don't remember it. So basically, oh, you like, get, a good you, night of blackout drinking. I was going to say, you get the stargazer. You get violated, okay. you wake up, you don't remember what the fuck happened or why your butthole hurts. It's like, <laughs> okay. It's like, okay, fifth grade, got Yeah, it. they're like, you fell on the <laughs> stairs, and I'm like, wait, fifth, what stairs? I took an elevator up here. Yeah, fifth grade with uh, Pastor O'Do- O'Donohue. Got it. <laughs> yeah, so, um, yeah. Oh, good boy. <laughs> I'm that not, was you? I'm not yeah. doing that again. Wow, woman. I, I, I had my- How many stars? Um, like negative four. I negative four. Say. Do not if recommend. If you have rectal bleeding, don't drink a very potent laxative. Just don't. <laughs> J Max said he was totally out. Wow. Yeah, I, I remember like none of it. Like I remember up to like laying on the cold ass <laughs> table, and then they showed me the camera. Johnny they... Johnny's hitting us from uh, a callback from all the way to from Sugar tiny yeah from tiny humans. <laughs> Oh, my God, that episode kills me still to this yeah. day. Yeah, they assured me they were going to run a different camera each direction on me. I still doubt. How many views on your OnlyFans did you get? <laughs> you know, that was before OnlyFans. Damn it. You know, that was that was good. I um, I think I'm good. I, I'm just... you know, I, to be honest, I'm looking forward to it. Not on, not on that level. Just the cleanse? Just on a dietary level, yes. <laughs> I'm looking forward. You know, you could do that all on your own. Like, you I'm could... thinking about it, actually. It's over the counter. You can just walk into the pharmacy, pick up a bottle of it. I think they got like purple death flavor, like <laughs> shit. I your suggest pants blue. the clear flavor. The clear flavor. It, it tastes like ice. They got a yellowy one. I don't know what that one is. Banana. <laughs> a yellowy like, one. Oops, it's probably you drank all your own year in yellow. <laughs> lemon lime. Yes. Oh, that could be. Did not taste like lemon nor lime. Shut up, Henry. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, as he's casually sipping a bottle of it, you're like, fuck! (laughs) This directly affects me, you asshole! (laughs) Uh, Yes, Henry will be making a a few more rare appearances into studio in the next coming weeks. Triumphant return. Yeah, maybe. With a two-inch hard on. Mm. Okay. Uh, Okay. Oh, wait. Yes, ma'am. I have a blue chew left. I'm listening. I might take it tonight. You might take it. It don't do shit for him. What's it do for you? Okay, I'm very curious to revisit this. What does it do for you? Because last time we had these conversations, it went sideways so so bad. What's so hard. S- sed- yeah. uh-huh. Sidnafil or whatever it's called, Blue Chew. I gave you one back in tech when you went to Texas. Mm-hmm. You tried it. Mm-hmm. What, full or half? Started with half, ended up taking full. Okay. This time I'll just go straight full. Okay, so for a woman... What does non-prescription Viagra, uh, essentially, do? What did it do for you firsthand? I, now that we got a one-on-one, I want to know. Light, a slight tingle on the... Labia or clitoris? Both. Yes. Okay, either or. And um, kind of in the legs. and like, he, like inside legs, outside legs, my, kneecaps? My thighs tingle when I'm horny. Oh, Okay. Um, is that is, really? Yeah, yeah. That's a thing? you scratch across them. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, like in the thigh butt region will tingle. Okay, so your 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 true erogenous zones yes. for you. And um, any anywhere else like the neck, the nips, anything else? The the back of the neck. Back. Yeah. Okay, I'm looking at you for confirmation. Small over back as well. Okay. Nipples, yeah. If she's like Depends. really worked up. You can get her on those too. Playing with my nipples is going to do one of two thing, one of Sorry. three things. I got a live listener who's who's private messaging me from my office. 
My apologies for this interruption. We'll go back to the erogenous zone uh, titillation in a minute. Oh, we're going back to it. Uh, oh, yeah, we we have to. Um, if you do the, uh, what is that, the citrate, the, 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 magnesium citrate. the magnesium citrate, I will move your computer to the fucking bathroom. You're, you're very on You're still coming space, to work, Gary. But you're still coming to work. <laughs> yeah, so I heard you shit your pants on the drive-in. It's okay. We got you new pants. Go ahead and take your seat. <laughs> Here's your new office chair. I, you know yep. what? Honestly, I love my new job. Because they have the same sick and twisted sense of humor and acceptance. Because they have Ethernet in the bathroom. Uh, well, the, the, the Wi-Fi does reach out there. I can confirm this. So, your erogenous zones are on tingly. Not fire, but tingly. Tingly. Okay. And he said it made me more sensitive. Oh, yeah. In regards to, like, she's Much... a sensitive bitch or she's... Well, she's already we very know she... sensitive to a lot of, like, touch and things like that. But... Okay. It was like a you whole could level you could brush a you could brush a feather over her ass. A bird would, leaf, yeah. You uh, could take a bird leaf to her, and she'd probably come all over. <laughs> that yeah. that that kind of. Sensitive. I didn't have a bird leaf to try, but I would be willing to bat. Well, I will send you home with my feather duster. With a bird leaf, got it. <laughs> just just for science' sake. Science, <laughs> you know. So, and, and I have one. A bird leaf? Yeah. Okay. okay. On a stick. On, <laughs> on a leather stick. On a leather stick. <laughs> so uh, let's continue on with this because because I really curious mind and I don't care who the fuck I'm ever talking to about these things. If you're willing to tell me, mm-hmm. I'm willing to listen. Mm-hmm. I facilitate being your authentic self here. Mm-hmm. If I may go into full service detail, Tripper. He doesn't give a shit. Oh, okay, have good. at her. Uh, penetration. Initial penetration, or did foreplay occur? beforehand foreplay always occurs okay good it's a must i i'm asking because you said you are so titillated with this in your he doesn't system. care he likes to break me okay so let's 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 piggy it back up to mental let's go back up to the brain everything else is on tingly status did the brain get out get on tingly status were you like uncontrollable no. were you no nope. The ravenous, lustful monster. He does that to me anyway. Okay, so he he induces that kind of mm-hmm. into especially you especially with well. my horn shows. <laughs> I'm sorry. What? With my horn show, it's it's oh oh your metaphoric it. horns. I'm like I'm like okay, yes. Okay, okay. I have he... looked at him and swore to God he really had him though. Okay, so outside of being a video game character, <laughs> <laughs> so we're talking we're talking four plays existing. He he mm-hmm. he's doing he's. Doing his impression of Aquaman and breathing through his ears. Sometimes. Okay. Uh, no, in this case. With, with I don't your, think with, we tried that no. that night. No. Could tonight, though. For okay. research, babe. For research. It's for science purposes. It's definitely not because I enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> I do it for the taste, bitches. <laughs> I do. <laughs> I thoroughly enjoy the fuck out of it. Uh, eat out more often, folks. Now, if only I find a way to keep my arms from going numb. I'm listening. I don't understand well, this. Well, especially like my left arm goes numb real bad after I, you know, broke it several times and they had a okay. I, I get that, but but we're talking, together. we're talking. I put them up and out. Okay. And then after so long of no, no. When you when you're doing this with your partner, do you put her in the change my die die position while you're 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 dining or sometimes? Yeah, essentially, pretty okay. close. Okay. Sometimes. I'm I'm more of a fan of the put the arms underneath the small of the back and lift up a little bit just so I can keep my neck angled at a proper degree and I can still breathe through my ears so she doesn't put her thighs as earmuffs. See, I love the thighs as earmuffs. I though. do too, but I have to breathe. <laughs> I just need like a, a back gill. A back gill. Oh, yeah, there you go. You know, there you go. Throw it between my shoulder blades, and as long as I don't get too sweaty, I'll be all right. There it is. Because okay. then you'll drown. <laughs> yeah. So, so we're, we're we're moving on from the foreplay. Um, everything's good to go. We we got the rocket ship ready to launch. Uh, on a female's perspective, and, and this sounds very uncouth as a guy interviewing, but I'm doing this purely out of scientific curiosity. Uh, penetration. Did you feel every centimeter? I always do. Like no, I mean even more so. Was it more? Was was the initial pen more intense? More more elevated? More... A little bit elevated. Okay, how? So? I don't think it affected me the way that it does affect some people. I it did affect me. Okay, but I don't think that it had the full power that 
some people would experience from it. Okay. So at the whole time, was the tingling sensation still at the, the, the steeple and the doors? mm Okay. So when the penetration happened... The tingling went away from the thighs, the the steeple doors. Once I start getting action, okay, thank you. The the tingling goes away. Okay, and then it sometimes comes back on the clit and the labia mm-hmm. afterwards. What about the erogenous zones? Does it come back or did it go away? That doesn't really tingle. Okay, those zones don't really tingle. So they mute. Because you yes. said you said the inner thighs, the small of the back, and the back well, of the, the neck. Well, the small of the back and the back of the neck don't tingle, but okay. those are hot spots. Okay, okay. So the hot spots kind of kind of they get they, more sensitive. Okay, so they amplified. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, when in the middle of the coitus, I sound like fucking Sheldon from goddamn that stupid geek show. So minute one, minute right, right in the middle, right right in the middle, <laughs> middle one. <laughs> uh, welcome to my TED talk. <laughs> Uh, it, 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 it just kind of muted or did it just st- plateau? Plateau. Okay. So was everything else plateauing or did, did anything accentuate? Or I plateau usually go, or you I, go, you roller I usually, coaster. I roller coaster. Okay. Yes. So you do what Bitcoin does. Got yes. it. Big facts. Okay. Um, now crazy buttons. <laughs> That's, okay. he's got to answer those. Okay. Okay, Tripper, I know you have the memory of a goldfish. Okay. <laughs> Do you remember this night in Texas? Yeah. I don't think it really hit a button that hard. Like, I feel like most other nights that I push really hard are more. Now, when you, I don't when even think you, no, she no. told me she hates me that night or anything. So. I didn't. Okay, so when you when you say you, you, you're... you're uh, I just lost that track of thought. <laughs> Fuck it. She doesn't. She didn't say she hates you. you no. Now, okay, here it was. When you're when you're going to push buttons, when you're actively pushing buttons, are you seeking to push these buttons, or is it just in the moment, heat of the moment? I'm pushing to see what lies beyond. Okay, you want you want to break what, a threshold. Yeah, because okay. like you, you hit a level and you're like, okay, cool, yeah, that that unlocked. I hate you. And then like you push a little harder and like. One of these days, she's going to actually take a swing at me, and then I'm going to push more. Okay, course. so obviously you've had this happen to you. No, she hasn't quite taken <laughs> not, a swing not at me Not with her. Yet. She'll ball her <laughs> fist up. She'll kind of claw me in the back, like, out of anger versus just out of pleasure. Okay. You know, but and, and the, so far, hasn't more, taken a swing yet. More reasons why I ask these questions is because you are a person who doesn't reflect on love but you reflect on love by saying I hate you or I hate you is what I do when I don't like feeling vulnerable. Hey, that's thank you for the explanation. I I can't I'm very uncomfortable. I'm I'm working on it, but I'm I've always been Much like he's working on certain things. I've been very <laughs> uncomfortable for most of my life with vulnerability. Mhm. Well, and that's because of the way we were raised. Yeah. Yeah, you cry and, you crying is not an option. I mean, I was allowed to cry. It was just other things that happened. Understood. But with him, I feel very vulnerable. Okay. And in those moments, I have sexual trauma. Mm Mm-hmm. And so there are parts that are turned off. Of course. And when he goes after those buttons, it turns them back on. It turns them on. I feel vulnerable. I get scared. I feel a lot of love for him, like an immense amount of love. Mm Mm-hmm. And... I hate it. Because you were programmed to I do so. I can't bring myself to say I love you. Mm-hmm. In that so, moment. In that moment. So I say I hate you. Okay. Makes a lot of sense now. I think she called me a fucker one night too. Yep. Sure did. Flipped <laughs> <laughs> him off too. Probably called me a bastard During it several or times. Uh-huh. You flipped him off in mid During mid-co- sex, <laughs> yes. <laughs> mm-hmm. it's somewhere. It it's somewhere in between like the uncontrollable sobbing and then the... Simmer down and then they're sobbing again. Usually, like but we're not talking about you, Tripper. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> my bad. <laughs> I see what if you did. If you count there. all the crying, it's five minutes. Yeah, <laughs> but I've called that aftercare. <laughs> <laughs> Don't move. I'll get you a towel. <laughs> okay, so so let's let's no. Let's be honest. When we get to playing like this, okay. Yes, yes I'm gonna please. go ahead and I'm gonna be honest. Um. When we get to playing like this, it's easily like two hours. Okay. Easily. 
Now, when you say playing, you're talking foreplay playing or coitance playing? Both. Okay. The whole shebang is usually somewhere in the neck of two hours. Oh, Jesus Christ. Mm-hmm. Keep this man. Mm-hmm. He's a national treasure. <laughs> <laughs> it may not be able to do much, but it does the trick. <laughs> That's why, like, you know, for actually, like, going down on her, like, we have to, like, devote time to it. Because, like, <laughs> at the same token, I work a lot. Like, I work 60 hours a week most weeks. So yeah. it's like, I'm up at 2-something in the morning to get ready for work. It's mm-hmm. like, you don't always have the time to devote to that. Yeah. It's like, I suppose I could give myself a teaser, but that's kind of mean. What know? do you mean? Give well, your, just like a few your, minutes or something. Give but... yourself a teaser? Oh, I enjoy it very, very much. No, I'm, I'm, Elaborate, please. What does that mean? What does give I yourself... Like to spend time down there eating her out. Okay, okay. I like the feel of it, the taste of it. No, no I'm, I'm still, I'm it. still trying to remind myself to re- ask you, what do you mean by give yourself a teaser? Oh, like only be down there for like ten minutes or something. Okay, so you're, you're you know, definitely... like if you're gonna like have some ice cream, but you only have like a couple little bites and you put it back. No, fuck that. I'm eating like the whole tub. Okay, so you're going to town. Like I it's want a the whole tub. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's it's been a rough day. Your your boss hates you. Your 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 My dog boss, well your dog boss. ran away. You want to you want a tub of Hagen Dazs, mm-hmm. and Cody just happens to be that tub of Hagen Dazs. Yes. Not saying you're a tub, but I, you're Hagen Dazs. I'm chubby. Eh. <laughs> Subjective. <laughs> yeah, I can still throw you around. It's good. <laughs> you can. You can. <laughs> so. I wow, couples therapy on fucking bad habits network. <laughs> what the fuck are we doing here? We're never this fucking cool. I don't know. What we're, we're not cool right now either. <laughs> it's pretty chilly down here. It is. Yeah, I, it is. I got some diamond cutters. Mm. Not it's not as cold as my office though. <laughs> so I digress. Uh we're 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 foreplay, we're min mid Uh did it did it provide or produce more uh intense? Or frequent? No. no. Any kind of O's? I mean, there's always O's, but... Yeah, it, were they more intense? Were they more frequent? It was just... Yep, it just just, just heightened sense. Just heightened sense of the overall experience. Mm-hmm. Okay, so it made you a sexual spider woman. What? Well, I mean, the tingling sensation. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. Spidey sense is tingling. Yeah, your, your, yeah, yeah. Your cooter sense was tingling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't know. I, I, I did. And she's saying all this with a smile on her face, folks. So yep. I, she's 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 here of her own free will. Yeah, I, and, I and swear it. She, we have these paddles on the studio desk, right? Or studio table right now. That if she has any kind of uncomfortability, she'll put red panel up and we'll move on. Mm-hmm. There's a bell even she could hit. That's the dinger. The, I was gonna say if if she if she, that's what she wants. <laughs> You've heard the shit I've said on here. Yeah, we have. <laughs> You've made me blush. Mm-hmm. You've made Tripper proud. <laughs> yep. I think that I think you know that was kind of a prerequisite to dating you was listen to one of these shows. <laughs> no, I don't think I made him. No, he did it of his own free will. <laughs> you sent me the link. I think one of oh, the yeah. ones you were on or something like when we first started seeing each other. Mm-hmm. Listen to a few of them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Then somehow ended up on one of them. And it was Two just of them, magic. One temporarily, and then took over one. And a year and a half later, we're still traumatized. One by time, it. I hijacked an episode with four cliffs. <laughs> Once, <laughs> and a whole league got created. Why you got to keep bringing up old shit? Because it's fun. It was. <laughs> and I still kind of want to do it. <laughs> I want to get a skid steer on the ice. No <laughs> skidsters on ice. No. I'd be scared of getting waterboarded. Wow, we zowie. What? Johnny, I'd be scared of getting waterboarded if I ever did that to my wife. Yeah. <laughs> Coward. <laughs> <laughs> hey, at least you'll die happy, dude. And it, it's going to be one hell of a way to go. She'd probably like it. <laughs> what, give her one of the fucking blue shoes? Yeah. Oh, wow. And this is not an endorse. This is not a paid advertisement. No, it's not. Or an endorsement. Well, it kind of is an endorsement because you like it. Yeah. This is this is just people being them, their authentic selves and and talking mm-hmm. freely. Jesus Christ. We'll I mean, see how it goes tonight. I mean, we were talking weird shit at the they're dinner disgusting. table. They're disgusting. Tasting? Oh, yes. Yeah, they're I, horrible. I hate them. Oh, they're horrible tasting. Uh, yeah. No, you got to have at least a glass of fucking water or something that tasty afterwards just to wash that shit down. But you're not supposed to. No, you're not. I mean, it's like eating a bad. It's like eating the knockoff Flintstone brand. Yeah. 
That's 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 what I attested it to. Like if you just like went to the shock tart factory and you swept up the floor and ate the dustpan. Yeah. <laughs> it's not good. Yeah, it tastes like Father McConaughey. <laughs> <laughs> All dusty. <laughs> Dusty ass. <laughs> so I digress. Uh, moving on, we were, we were, we were, we were, you are giving that a four out of five. You want to do it again? Oh, well, I'd say three out of five. Three out of five. Three and a half. Gonna try it again. You're gonna try it again, just for scientific purposes. I think he had two of them. It didn't do shit to him. Well, he is uh, one and a half. Maybe? One and a half. Did do shit to him. Okay, it made me into a weird fucking horny monster. Yeah, like I had to stay off monster the whole day and everything, and like. Did you have a headache the next day? No, I don't think so. I I, I had one. I had I, it was like one of those. Weird, mm. But see, I also drink like a fuck ton of Monster and stuff. So like, good point. Good point. My body's used to that level of like poisoning and toxicity and nitric and, oxide. And, yeah. yeah, I I actually had the uh, the come down headache, the the hangover. It was a bang over. Yeah, I had a bang over headache afterwards. It was it was something I'm not. It was the reason I was like, yeah, I'm not doing this again. Hmm. I mean, I don't need to, but it was fun. But the re- repercussions of it were not great. Yeah, I mean, I tried it kind of out of curiosity of like, well, what's it going to do? Yeah. Like, if you don't need it, what does it do? Well, and, I, and, and in my youth, I did like a Viagra just for shits and grins. Got stuck in your neck? Yeah, totally. My stiff neck all day. <laughs> but no, I, I took a Viagra while I was a formidable youth and was like... Did you get taller? Uh, I did. Uh, I did. Uncle Sam was wondering. <laughs> now, that one I'd like to try on you. What, him getting taller? Sure. Oh, or Viagra. I'm not allowed Viagra. to add inches to mine. <laughs> no, he's not. No, I, I like I said, I did the Viagra and, and the girlfriend I was with uh, took half of one and it was an amplified from what your experience you gave us. It was amplified probably about three times over. So, yeah, the curiosity is there for that now mm-hmm. for you. See, and at the same <laughs> token, I bet if you could like chill her brain down some and get her out of her own head a bit more, I bet it would have done more for her, too. Right. And and when I took the, the blue chew thing, the Sidnafil or whatever it was. Like I said, it was just, I was just a fucking green demon. Like that, that horny demon. If it's green, you should get it checked. I know, there's a topical <laughs> cream for it. I don't know, I don't know the color of horny, I forgot. I have no clue. Yeah. <laughs> Titties. <laughs> what color is her shirt, Gary? <laughs> Boobs. <laughs> Bruh. Bruh. Johnny. Oh, he's being silly. Fork trucks on ice. <laughs> They're utterly useless on ice. They're utterly <coughs> not useless. <laughs> they go right through. Fuck, you can't barely get them to move on ice. Eh, there's that. So yeah. as Cody's checking her phone. It was Johnny. Side, I know. Sidebarring me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you got How a- many of those you got? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, he he's legitimately scared he would drown. Yeah. Okay. Do it. Do it. You, it's a hell of a way to die, dude. You'll die a hero. <laughs> yeah. Trust me, I've drowned twice. It's not that hard to come back from it. <laughs> My mom's drowned once. I, I, I yeah, the, the pararescue jumping training was, was not. That's, yeah, I can't drown a third The trick time. is when you think you're drowning, you open your mouth and it'll flow out. You're okay. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's not the trick, folks. That's the trick. No, I mean, when you're on dry about. land in the bedroom, <laughs> it is. <clears throat> Just open your mouth uh, and hold your breath for a second or twelve or fifteen. You ever get so hit? You ever get hit so hard as a kid you forgot to breathe? <laughs> it's like <Yes>. that. <laughs> yeah, been there. Been there as an adult. <laughs> I just. Uh... You ever taken a super soaker to the mouth? (laughs) (laughs) Of vodka. You just open your mouth. It's going to be okay. It's going to go one way or another. Make it fun. Yes. So, you'll update us about your second attempt. Yeah. Okay, good, good. As as I bore her to death with the... No, it's not that. I've just... It's been a frazzling week. Yeah, Bob Saget passed away. I... Didn't get fired, but could have gotten fired. I should have. Almost gotten fired. <laughs> I got sent home only one day. So Why? That's not bad. Um, you know, because I decided I wasn't going to go ahead and comply with the mask bullshit. <laughs> um, apparently, we were supposed to do it all week, but um, yeah, Thursday, about halfway through the day. So, did you? Were you in close proximity to one, or no? No, that a whole 
OSHA, ES, EHS, whatever ETS. bullshit mandate mm-hmm. <clears throat> went effective-ish. Okay. But wasn't totally effective, but kind of was on Monday the 10th there. And um, so my employer was going ahead with it. And, um, yeah, I just didn't. Cause well, in my opinion... The the you're you're a welder. Yeah, flammable thing strapped to your face <laughs> while welding is a, is a no go. Yeah, and you wear a mask anyway while welding. You wear a so, helmet. Yeah. yeah. So there's your mask. So so you're telling me you got to put the mask on if your mask is up. Yes. Whenever you didn't have, whenever you weren't actively welding or grinding, you were supposed to be wearing it. So you'd basically be taking it on and off four hundred times a day, setting it down to catch a pound of metal debris and then smacking it back to your face. Mm-hmm. And my bigger thing was it wasn't the mask. It was the next step. I'm not willing to get tested weekly. It's ridiculous. You know, it's how many times am I going to pop positive and I have to give up a week with my kids, I have to give up a week of pay, I have to give up, give up, give up. Right. And, and, and that's what a lot of people are, are you're not alone in yeah. the, in this experience. <laughs> you know, and it's well, like Well, and he had mentioned if they were actually doing tests where they like actually swab you and look under a microscope mm-hmm. to f- see if the virus is there, he's like I I would partake in that one. Okay. It's a very generic test, you know, that they're doing. It's well, Is it the antigen test? Yeah, the PCR antigen test. Okay. Is, okay. It's, it's not that accurate. Like No, nothing is absolute. No. And that's why like without any sort of confirmation of like Here's actually someone that found the actual virus in your nasal cavity. Mm-hmm. Why are we doing this? Like yeah. we're not we don't check everybody for the flu. We don't test people for strep. We don't test people for mono. And we, see that's where I'm uh, that's where I kind of view this as. It's like okay, fuck, we can't get people to test people for STDs. Oh, that's very true. That shit's running rampant and killing more people than this shit's ever gonna. Yeah, I, I'm I'm not disagreeing on that, but I, I'm I'm a jibby jabber. I took the shot. Okay. I have no problem with that. Yeah. And I was actually paid to take the shot. See, there's not a price that would make me take it, but... Okay. Well, akin, I, I view it as akin to the flu shot. It's like, okay, cool. I've also never gotten a flu shot. Well, that's your choice. Yeah. So, and, and, and a <clears throat> lot of people are just like, dude, why are we making this a huge fucking deal? And again, it should be our choice. Like, yeah. quit and, trying to take away my right to choose. That's and all I'm I sorry want. for talking this shit. I know it's run down. I know we did a whole fucking stint of this bullshit last year where it was called Monday Night COVID. But again, it's, but again. it's a very real world thing. It's affecting all of us, and it really fucked my week up. Like, mm-hmm. I had to choose to make my stand, whether it meant I lost my job or I didn't. And at the end of the day, I didn't. Okay. So, and that affected the company enough to let you back in the next day. Well, they Apparently. canceled the thing four and a half hours after sending me home. They then repealed their mandate of for our company okay. because the Supreme Court had overturned it. Oh, okay. Okay. So okay. We're back to being able to raw dog life again. <laughs> they, didn't, they didn't actually overturn it. Well, they put a stay or whatever. On. Yeah, no, so like, they th- what they overturned was OSHA's ability to enact it. Correct. Which even OSHA had uh, said they weren't going to until they got final word. But it could still. What they did was they said that the stay can happen mm-hmm. until it plays out in the lower courts, because they the majority of the justices don't believe that OSHA has the right to mandate something like this. Okay, and you, you've you had to pay close attention to this because of where you were. Yes, but the CMS mandate they allowed. What is what is CMS mandate? I don't remember what CMS stands for, but it's something that regulates um, Medicare and Medicaid money going to healthcare facilities. Close enough. Um, <laughs> so the CMS mandate is just anybody who is in... So healthcare workers... And certain businesses fall within the healthcare realm, okay. mine being one of them. Mm-hmm. Um, mental health facilities are considered healthcare, mm-hmm. and they receive if they receive Medicare. What's the other one? I just fucked it Medicaid. up. Medicaid, Medicaid, and Medicare money. <laughs> okay, then they have to enact this. All right. So the justices let that one go. Okay. But the OSHA one, they said it stayed. Okay. They didn't actually say that you can't do it, even though they don't think that OSHA should be able to. They're going to let the lower courts finish 
hearing the cases and let the lower courts. Because the thing about the Supreme Court that nobody really pays too much attention to Mm -hmm. is they are the Supreme Court. However, they are, if things are playing out in the state, they let that go. Mm -hmm. The fact that this was seen at the Supreme Court level in the stay portion of it is unprecedented. Well, it's a very controversial, hot topic issue. Yes. So now that they've allowed something like this in, Mm -hmm. it opens the door for other things like this to go in. Okay, so it's setting precedent. So like they lost their virginity for it. Okay. Now they're... They were like, you know what, that wasn't so bad. Let's but slide a few more in there. But they're not going to cancel it while it's being reviewed in lower courts. I understand. They're going to let those lower courts figure out, and then if someone else brings it back to the Supreme Court, because that's the other thing. They don't. They pick their cases, but they don't go out looking for them. Mm-hmm. Um, so if someone else brings it back to the Supreme Court once it's out of the lower courts, mm-hmm. then they might decide whether or not OSHA can actually do this. God, I wish Judge Wapner was still alive. <laughs> we, can, we can fuck the Supreme Court. Take it to the People's Court. <laughs> we'll just take it from Judge Judy. Yeah, fuck that. <laughs> she old. We're going to kill her. <laughs> the justices are, too. I know. They're, they're more afraid of being coughed on nowadays than anything. Actually, only one of them was wearing a mask. Oh, good. Yeah. Out of all nine of them, only one was wearing a mask. Okay, you watched this shit. Good. I didn't. Okay. But I paid attention to the reports. Okay, good. You can't watch it. There's no... You can't... That's right. There's no cameras involved. But it does allowed. live feed. hmm So, no cameras allowed in the Supreme Gotta Court. Gotta be horrendously boring. Uh, you know, Have, did, for me, this it's is a not. stupid question. Did you ever... Uh, did you ever take the field trip to the, the, the Capitol... No. Okay. <laughs> we was poor. Uh, it, it was. It was. It was very boring. I wanted to go just for the experience, but mm-hmm. we was poor. But do you know what I took? You say boring. Do you know what I did when I was in college? Boring shit. I took a course on Supreme Court law. Yeah. Nerd alert. Nerd alert. <laughs> what, you, that's. <laughs> Please, half of us, you're a nerd too, Tripper, shut up. I know, I'm just a car nerd. Yeah, exactly. For Christ's sakes, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a bad habit nerd. You talk to me about tobacco, chess, uh, fucking anything weird. Vaping, I'm vaping. jerking off to weird internet porn. No, it's, midgets aren't weird. The midget clone <laughs> empty keys are a little up there. Yeah, they are. Very niche market. Yeah, very. Yeah, they are. I still have my book from that, cor- or from that course that's about, I don't know how many inches that is. I'd say three. That's, I'd say that's a full hammer. That's okay. a full penis. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like a three-inch book, uh, paperback book. Yes, ma'am. Of all of the major Supreme Court cases and the dissents and the, I cannot remember the decision and the dissents. Mm-hmm. Any appeals? Mm-hmm. Okay. I don't know. Like, you didn't. You didn't really pay too close attention to that class. I, it. I, no, I paid. I, I did pay attention. Okay, got it. was dreamy. It w- no, she was not. <laughs> oh, hoo hoo! That woman is a force to be reckoned with. I was going to say fat kip, uh, fat crypt keeper, or no, she's just a force to be reckoned with. Powerful personality. Yes. Okay, got it. Powerful personality, and she is not afraid to let Try you know. Try saying that again. Powerful personality. <laughs> now say Westershire <laughs> sauce. I can't say that. <laughs> Worst, worst, worst. It was. It was the best of shires. It was the worst, worst of shires. Sh- worst of shire. Worst okay. of shires. Worst of shire. Worst of shire. <laughs> there, I taught you something new today. New safe word. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, finally, I can say the safe word. This fucker. <laughs> As she flips him off. Yeah. Actually, it's California. Because why would fuck would anybody want to talk about that place? Mm. I want to go to Hollywood. Fuck that. Just once. You're not. Why missing do I want to go to pedophile alley? I want to go to um, the Rainbow Barn Grill, and I want to walk the Vatican. The... <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is that thing called with the stars? The Walk of Fame. Fuck that. I would want to do the Walk of Fame. I I, I would want to do that. I'd the... rather go look through the Hubble Telescope at stars. Well, yeah, I'd do that. That's too. on my list. I do that. That's on my list too. I want to see Pluto. I also want to go to Death Valley. You're not missing much. I just want to go and say I've been there. Yeah, you're not missing much. 
You, you might as well just go to the, the, the island of Bahrain and just enjoy. I don't know where that is. It's the little tiny island off the coast of Saudi Arabia in the Gulf Sea. I am not going to Saudi Arabia. You're not. You're going to Bahrain. Hmm. I don't think I want to go there either. You'd, you'd, yeah. I don't much more go, liberal. I don't want to go anywhere. <laughs> there are, you'd be surprised. Uh, Bahrain is much more liberal I don't want to go anywhere where I have to wear long sleeves and floor-length dresses and cover my face in the middle of fucking summer. Just plop a titty out. They can't even look at you then. <laughs> <laughs> no, they'll just throw rocks at you forever. Yep. Uh, yeah, but they won't be able to hit her because they can't look. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Some, some, some blind people have some impeccable aim. They go by smell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I smell titty. <laughs> I smell titty. <laughs> Smells like strippers and cookies. And Over there! <laughs> you have to explain that now. So. Okay, what? What are we explaining? I got my, my boobies. Some perfume. My boobies smell like stripper cookies. Stripper cookies. Yeah. So. Renaming the episode now. We went to the titty bar. Get the fuck out. Really? Yes. Yeah. Uh, what? what? A couple, three, you got three, three weeks, weeks ago? Or something? Yeah. Right you before got Christmas. Right did, before Christmas. Thursday. You got him to look at other people's burgers and fries. Uh-huh. Yes, she did finally. Um, what the? So what next? The one stripper. Oh, I feel the so one bad. stripper. She really like you know strippers will actually talk to women. Um, she liked good strippers sp- will talk to the guys too. Well, not in the same way. So this chick. Mm. Oh uh, wait, that's Cody my superpower. Cody liked the way Cody Sorry. liked the way she smelled. Okay. So she told her what she was wearing. Victor's Secret. Oh God! Oh. Way more expensive than that. Oh, um, so we got to go to like to Alta Booty or something. Yes, like Alta. Oh wow! My homeless looking ass after a day at work walked into fucking Alta. That reminds me, I need to go to Alta. No, you don't. I yes, have, I do. I have someone you can take with you. No, Sheesh. I'm not going to buy anything. I know, but take her with you. She'll buy me fucking that good cologne I like. So speaking of expensive shit, yeah. <laughs> Tripper goes in looking all homeless. Well, they she'd put it on our Amazon list, so I actually knew what it like was. Um, so you're doing this in the store like a fucking husband sent out to get the groceries. Essentially, like I walked into this place and I'm just fucking lost because <laughs> not my kind of store. Right. You know? Well, you know they got beard care. And they have a I, it's a guy section fuck, in the I way would back never corner. Never find it. <laughs> I'm like deer in the headlights, like fucking just starstruck, like I trying to figure adult. out. And like apparently the perfumes were right in the front of the store, like dead center. Well, like, yeah, I basically was standing in it when I had to like turn around and like go find someone to be like, "Hey, where's your perfume over there?" Thanks. Thanks. Great customer Super service. Super fucking helpful. <laughs> Then wandered in there for like ten minutes trying to look for this bottle. As yeah, I'm holding the phone and like looking at the shelves, and I'm like, according to the internet, y'all have one in stock. Because like, I figured out what I wanted to get her. And but the I, same one who came up and helped him find it over there walked up to him and went, "That one, <laughs> uh, different lady." Oh wow, <laughs> she uh, she looked all over and couldn't find it either, and then I had to get a manager. And the manager's like, "You mean this one?" And I'm like, "Yes." <laughs> I was like, sweet, you do have a bottle. Oh, she's like, wow. She's like, sometimes our online inventory is inaccurate, and she's like, it might not actually be here. I was like, well, it fucking better. I was like, because yeah. it was, Speaking it was of the that, day of our two years, so I wanted to get her something nice. Congrats. Without going over the top on congrats it. Congrats for not killing him. It's impressive, isn't it? Yeah. So I'm hard to kill is why. Well, I was going to say, <laughs> she, she, you'd, you'd be her third if you did. So I got her <laughs> the the perfume, you know, the stripper smell. Mm-hmm. Smells delicious. And um, her usual base is things that smell like cookies, because I'm a fat kid and I like sweets. Okay. So she likes to smell like cookies, so I'll eat her. <laughs> so now they're mixed together, so she smells like a stripper cookie. <laughs> I like that. I mix perfumes and I mix lipsticks. And vape juices when you have them. Yep. I'm a mixologist. Yeah. You're a mad scientist. I am. Um, okay. So, so yeah, stripper and I cookies. went. Yep, stripper cookies, and I went and got my eyebrows did today, and got my bangs cut, and and my, I didn't ask. My hair lady was <laughs> my hair lady was over me and doing my eyebrows, and she goes, "What are you wearing? It smells amazing." And I was like, "It's stripper cookies," and I told her what both of them were, and she was like, "What? <sighs> hmm." <laughs> God bless. <laughs> yeah, it's the stuff's not cheap. It's like ninety bucks for a bottle. See, that's average in my book. The bottles this Lord, big. I buy. I buy. Yeah, that's average. I buy four dollar a can Axe, and then I just bathe in it. Okay, well, there's that. You still Kyle it up. I got oh, it. But yeah. you know how pissed <laughs> off I am about that. Why? Drinking a monster, spraying on some Axe. 
Punching holes through drywall. Because he, he, he wears Kicking. that he wears that Dark Temptations axe. Okay, okay, and it okay. Smells fucking phenomenal. That's, that's on like him. the only axe I'll ever approve of. That is the. It smells fucking phenomenal on him, and I'm so pissed off about it. <laughs> uh, Cody, you're you're being requested to back channel uh, Johnny because he wants the scent too. <laughs> <laughs> the stripper cookies. The stripper cookies? Yeah. Oh, are you going to send him the link from Amazon? Yeah. Okay. Well, that was very sweet of you. It's cheaper on Amazon, by the way. Yeah. I I was I was uh trying to find new ways to bond with the kid, uh specifically the youngest, Bronson. Mm-hmm. And I did not knew that he liked a certain Nintendo game, and I was I, I it's one of my favorites. It's that stupid Smash Brothers brawl. Oh yeah. And then I found out they made like Skylanders for it. I don't know what Skylanders are. Uh, it's a little figurine toy that you set on the motherfucking unit, and it <laughs> magically shut up. It magically it magically will put that figure character into the game. And he discovered, he brought this to my attention. And I'm like, you know what? I am done with that because in my video game geekness, I, the missus and I got hooked on this, this concept and we lost a lot of money on it. And it was stupid because they stopped doing it. Of course they did. And I'm just sitting there and he found it and I'm like, okay, it's Nintendo. Nintendo has been throughout our childhood as trustable. Mm Mm-hmm. Not Atari, not ColecoVision, not... Well, you can say Apple, but... (laughs) What now? Oriental Woody. (laughs) No shit. That's the the stripper part of stripper cookies. Yes, after the size range, it says Oriental Woody on the description. Oh, (laughs) my God. Apparently, it gives Orientals a boner. Well, how could you tell? (laughs) So I heard, ting! (laughs) Yeah. Uh, No, that was me. (laughs) Look, it flipped up my zipper pull. (laughs) The light switch. (laughs) He actually, he actually enjoyed himself when we went to the titty club. Okay, it took a while. Local or semi-local? Semi-local. Okay. Yeah. It's the not not the closest, but not the farther ones. Okay. Okay. I, I I I understand. The the one Dave traumatized me with, got it. Maybe. <laughs> Basically looks like a pole barn in a Yeah. Yep. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, say no more, I know which one you're talking about. There was a can I say that? Yes. Oh, if you want to own it. Whatever. There was this absolutely beautiful black girl there. Okay. Long hair. Mm-hmm. Kinda Good weave. S- kind of skinny. Good weave, got it. Super sweet. Okay. I wouldn't let Cody take her home. No, he wouldn't. <laughs> never, never let them take one home. <laughs> <laughs> Once they get one, they're going to want a bunch more. Oh, my God. They're <laughs> like fucking cat ladies. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. No. We had fun. I'm glad. I'm... I would like to go back on a busier night. Define. You Define. went with the B team? Uh, very often, they weren't even like... What day Manning of the week? The stage. Thursday. Thursday. Oh yeah, Thursday. Right before yeah. Christmas. Yeah, Thursdays are Thursday. Ooh, right before a holiday. Yes. Yep. That's that's odd. I've always found that odd. Like right before a holiday, it's always. I asked the doorman, and he said it's hit or miss on those days. Yeah, and it's it's every time I've gone on a holiday or a day before a holiday, it's always been knife wound or C section. Yeah, the, 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 the a lot C of that. the C or D team. And yes, that was a very naughty, nasty joke, guys. Two or three of them were pretty good. Okay. And there were two that were entirely really obnoxious. Yeah. Yeah. Dave still Dave still wants a mulligan on, on the experience he brought me to. I still want to get him to the one that I really want to get him to, but I won't take him there right now because the city has a mask mandate. Oh. And so I don't know what they're doing about it. You need and, to talk to Dave and Ashley because that's their favorite spot. And they never answer the fucking phones there. Yeah, no, there's a reason. <laughs> so... <laughs> It didn't come up as a Russian Not to number. mention, he won't go there unless we have a few hundred dollars. Can respect that. I like to throw money in the strip club. Like, if you're going to go, go. Mm-hmm. Do the thing. And I'm I'm quite the opposite. I'm just here. That's what I am. I, I'm just here to drink. I don't throw money unless I'm impressed with what I'm seeing. I'll um, just throw money just to throw money. Yeah. 
I'm the guy that other guys get pissed at because the girls are paying all the attention over in our way because I'm throwing money. So you're the great wing. <laughs> you're you're my wingman. Got it. Yeah. Like you want an up close view, I'll just whip some money at him. Like mm-hmm. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna get you one of those dollar bill guns. <laughs> 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 set to full auto. <laughs> this baby can shoot a hundred dollar bills nope, in twelve seconds. Nope, I'm gonna set that bitch to three round bursts because I know you with toys. <laughs> 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 Great, we just Gary. I need more batteries. Yeah, we just blew a hundred dollars in three D cells. Fuck. Facts. <laughs> Fourteen dollars worth of fucking batteries every tripper. Minutes. You can't use Monopoly money today. Come on. <laughs> You're gonna get a shot again. Got to bring the quarters and the chapstick. Oh God. They do. They have a competition there. They do that. Where? Yes. I mean, have, what? What's the, stripper, no, what's what's the competition? Because I'm. I want. I haven't. I haven't been in this culture in a long. Stripper Olympics. Olympics. What the fuck are stripper Olympics? Different games. I'm yeah. listening. Example, please. Sh- well, the only one he asked about was stripper darts. Yeah, I didn't really give a fuck about it. Was is this the quarter? Yeah, yeah, the quarter. The quarter you, you wrap chapstick? the dollar bill around the quarter, and then you stick the chapstick and stick it to her butt cheeks. Or I mean, wherever else you hit her, I guess. But oh my god, I used to do something worse with my tips. When I was a bartender, we would actually wrap them up in a quarter. Throw it up. Now, the quarter. Here we go. We would wrap the dollar around a quarter and a tack, like a thumbtack. And then we would throw the bill up, and it would stick to the ceiling. And we would catch the quarter. Hmm. I want the dollar. I'm just having evil thoughts right now with that thumbtack. No thumbtacks. <laughs> that's that's like the Nerf dart with the needle in it. Yeah, I mean, Jesus fuck. That shit's cruel, but I, funny. Yes. <laughs> no thumbtacks on the strippers. I Damn mean, it. I was curious what would happen if you went to the strip club with nothing but those I'm gonna have dollars. To go, I'm going to have to go to the king community with that idea then. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I kind of miss my work vending machine just giving out the gold dollars. Oh, yeah. I could have brought in just a sack of coin. Oh, fuck yeah. Just. Ka-ting! Bouncing them <laughs> off the rails. Just sitting there with a, a little tower of fucking dollar coins. Watching <laughs> them try to pick those up with their butt cheeks. <laughs> yeah. You know what the sad part was? Leaving? Those girls could not pick up dollar bills with their butt cheeks. They weren't sweaty enough because they weren't working hard enough. Get the f- no, wait, what? Look, that was a prerequisite at the one I bounced at when I was young. Gotta have sticky Not a single cheeks. one of them was able to pick up that dollar no, bill. No, it was either... It was either uh, and this... The manager was either a genius or just a complete and total troll. He, during the interview process, they would do it. They would do two sets because that's what they were expected to do. And then he would test them out by doing either a, the dollar bill pyramid or just a folded dollar, like a triangle. Mm -hmm. And he would sit there and go, you have two ways to pick this up without your hands, teeth or feet. A lot of them would choose the butt cheeks. The other ones, the other ones who couldn't or knew they couldn't do that, would just cleavage rack them. And I was like, okay, I don't know if I should be proud of my manager or ashamed. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> but it was like a little. It's like, all right, cool. But some of the things they do to make to to get these interview processes through, I'm thinking that thankfully times have changed a bit, and that's not a case anymore. Or it's regional by person. I mean, you know, imagine if you had to do that for your office job. You know, it's like... Oh, dude, I would fucking OnlyFans that in a heartbeat. Pick up this mouse pad with your butt cheeks. Done. Done? (laughs) Thank God I don't have a mouse pad now. (laughs) Crush this watermelon with your thighs. Easy. (laughs) Done. (laughs) Done. Easy. Yeah, y'all could do that. Yeah. 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 Especially since we fucking have to buy pants three times larger. (laughs) than what's intended. Gary could probably get away with the ones I'm wearing. Probably, probably not. Probably. No. They're only $84 a pair. I am not paying $84 fucking dollars for a pair of pants, sir. But look at my thighs, Gary. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're like... They're, yeah. And they're great on the ass, it's, too. It, it's oh, not gay God. if it feels like yours. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> they're great on the ass, too. I don't care if it's gay or not. Just be yourself. <laughs> Pee yourself. That sounds no, really unpleasant. Oh, be. Be. be yourself. Be. You can pee yourself too if you want to do if that. That's your thing. If that's your thing, you know, Miles Davis, cool. <laughs> Don't forget the plastic wrap. <laughs> Babe, you can't bend me over tonight. Why? My back hurts for some reason. I'll take a set of fucker right out. 
<laughs> I bet like three strokes. I'm so in glad we don't have cameras in studio were. sometimes, but this is not one of them. <laughs> so. You're like Elliot Reed. Yeah, do that. But oh, yeah, show the listeners there. at home. <laughs> Fuck off. I have I have bangs now, and so like if I shake my head and like look up, I can see through my bangs. And I don't know if any of you know what Scrubs is, the TV show. Yeah, Elliot Reed got sassy bangs once, and the whole like, world be looking like a barcode. They were like, <laughs> they were, but they were like halfway down into her eyes, right? Okay. So like they did this one where through her perspective, so like the entire show when it was her perspective. The camera had bangs in front of it, mm-hmm. and so I, that's kind of what I feel like right now. I'm just glad when you shake your head, it finally stopped rattling. I have more than that up there. <laughs> <laughs> I have more than that up there. There's a whole circus up there. Yeah, you had a nutty pot <laughs> up there. Glued her all up. <laughs> oh, my God. Do you know what I got? I got Michael. I'm listening. Okay. I folks, at my- home, folks at home, Michael is our kink specialist of the group. And he's fucked up in the head oh my god um i got beautifully him, i got him to say and i quote to be fair to be fair evil knievel couldn't have this made is, that jump this is the cockering thing yeah, yeah you told this last episode okay cock cage yeah mm-hmm. i did okay okay you're right i was i i'm still you're still proud of that i'm still proud i got him to say that i'm not proud that i actually had that thought process i'm still <laughs> proud that we got we established a nutty pot Yes. <laughs> Available in all major retailers. <laughs> Better not be. Brought to you by Bad <laughs> Habits Network. Uh, at stores sold where the BHN logo is. It's a CO2 Cannot confirm this. full of semen. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Poo! Dick snot. Dick snot, remember? Dick snot. Dick snot. Fitting. <laughs> in more ways than one now for you. Mm-hmm. Jesus Christ. So, yeah, the next time we do that, you're going to have to warn me before you go off. Phrasing. No. Intended. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't warn you when he goes off anyway? No. Wow. That's I've had not, to figure it out. That's not courtesy. I could do it with zero, not a peep, <laughs> not a nothing before. Okay. I was... I, I'm baffled by that. Your body signals me. Oh, okay. okay. And I've figured out what that is now with him. Okay. He's very hard to read. Okay. Sexually, he's very hard to read. Okay. <coughs> but after- no, folks, that's not COVID. It went down the wrong pipe. The nut, the nutty pop is still <laughs> yeah, having residual it drip. It did. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> the nostril babies. The nostrils. The boogers have feet. Why? You know what? You can't make that joke because you literally got scared of that for a minute. Bitch, what? that nostril fucking babies? bitch's liver was pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> that is so fucked up. Oh, that, that, Here that. I was thinking I was safe, just raw-dogging it, <laughs> cream so, piner all the time, and she uh, shows me this video, this chick's liver I don't, was pregnant. I honestly don't know if this made the episodes or the shows, but Cody found an example in medical m- miracles, in this case, uh, somebody who had no... Her, fa- her factory got turned into a playground. They didn't say... Okay. They didn't say whether she had a hysterectomy or anything like that. Well, okay. she she couldn't have had a hysterectomy because she had had forty nine days of or no, she had had fourteen days of bleeding mm-hmm. and forty nine days since her last period. Okay. So they started doing ultrasounds. Okay. Okay. And and, and, and this was this was a woman. They didn't say her age. Okay. Damn it. Um, it was kind of weird. It was kind of. They curious didn't say on her that. age, but she had fourteen days of menstrual bleeding. Mm-hmm. And so she obviously had her uterus at least, and then forty nine days since her last period. No, you can still get your they... period without the uterus. Can you not? No, no. because your period is There's the no shedding wall. of the uterine lining. Thank you for the clarification, because yep. there are more more men that would ask that question than me. Yeah, no, you if you don't have a uterus, you're not getting a period. Okay, um, but she got a bunch of ultrasounds to find out what the fuck was going on, and they found a fetus in her liver. With a heartbeat. Yeah. Interesting. Did, now, did she abort or uh, carry it? That is, a, that is considered a, med- a medical emergency. <clears throat> okay, thank you. That's considered a medical emergency. Excellent. Thank you for the closure on that one. So, Tripper, that's why Tripper got fucking... Terrified. Uh, terrified. That I was still going to end up getting her knocked up somewhere in her body, randomly. <laughs> so, the nutty pot. Yeah. He, I, he oh. literally started Googling 
how to give himself a vasectomy. At all. <laughs> At all, mind you. Not, not in any sort of medical environment. Fuck that. Right, right. So when I made the joke, why do these boogers have feet? That actually made you cringe. Okay, that explains it. <laughs> Still, there could be a baby growing in there. Maybe that's why they quit rattling. <laughs> well, she's burping like she got one in. <laughs> Might want to get up there again and check. Clear it out. <laughs> yeah, I'm burping tonight. I'm burping tonight, so I'm burping quite a bit tonight. So It's got to be the bourbon wine. It is. It's, it's called bourbon wine now. Whew, bourbon wine. It's good. I I'm like glad. It. I'm glad. I'm not even buzzed, though, and the whole bottle's almost gone. Yeah, that's the best part. I no, think... it's not the best part. No, we want her to get intoxicated so that she slaps her face with Well, this penis. is 14.5. Okay. Too much food. Probably probably all that taco, all those tacos you've ingested. I had one. Well, you had a very fucking large one. I had a burrito. Yes. I had an oversized burrito because I'm a fat girl. Two burritos Jeez. and a bunch of chippies. And I'm, I'm going to have another taco later. Okay. <laughs> as as you told your soon to be stepdaughter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I do that. I she lo- already calls him a stepdad. Good. She's like you're my favorite stepdad. Oh yeah. I she think she's a stepdaddy kink. Yeah. <laughs> She did, well, before him and I were official, mm-hmm. she was pissed off at me because I wasn't official with him. Mm-hmm. And she was like, if you don't, she's like, if you don't start dating him, I'm a fuck him. Intriguing. And that also explains her husband, Joyce. That is nifty. Creepy, but nifty. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, I just said nifty. Yeah, we don't normally have the same taste in men, but she thinks strippers attractive. It's because I'm pretty. My sister flirted with him. Your sister would have jumped on my face if I let her. (laughs) Okay. Kind of reminds me of the last time I was in the bar when you said, you're pretty. I had a rando rando just walk up to me, stroke my beard with the back of her hand and said, you're pretty, and walked away. Nice. I'm like, what the fuck was that about? (laughs) <laughs> that was a compliment, sir. Still not used to him. <laughs> Mitch, you will get stabbed. Do you understand the ramifications of what you've just done? <laughs> she will find out and find you. She has a certain set of skills. <laughs> she will kill us all. <laughs> I will fuck a bitch up. Oh, here comes the green-eyed monster, speaking of. What you looking at? Oh, it's dying. What I need to it? put that. On. It's my old headset case and oh. charger. It's oh, I had no clue what it was, but it was had a blinky red light. And yep. I was terrified. I'll, 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 <laughs> it's not going to blow up. <laughs> okay. These are why I got to. F- this is why. These are reasons why I have to keep the studio free of tchotchkes. <laughs> <laughs> Complete 180 on the episode. Ooh, yeah. shiny, Ooh, blinky shiny light. Blinky light. My head's there now. Yeah. Yeah. Where? Good. I will kill that bitch. <laughs> Babe, nobody has stroked my beard except you. In public. I told you I will bash her fucking face into your toolbox. Babe, not my toolbox. Use someone else's. I need my toolbox. Christ, that took a turn. The corner of your toolbox, no. Babe, I'm going to put safety foam on all of them. Guys, uh, if you're wondering what dinners with these two are like, it's it's this. It's this with food. (laughs) (laughs) We talk about these things at the dinner table and... And then this shit happens. I will fucking kick that bitch. <laughs> oh, she's, kick? She's going to smash her face into the corner of my toolbox, of all things. Ah. <laughs> fucking rude. <laughs> Might even open the drawer before I do it. Oh, come on now. Not in the drawers, too. As long as we have the canines intact, we're fine. She'll no, take... I'm going to take them out. Just freak you out. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm to rip them out with them tiny pliers in his pocket. <laughs> I am really sick. Wow. <laughs> wow. Maybe that's why he's got the visectomy knowledge. No. Why did I say it visectomy? He's worse than me. With what? Vengeance or creativity? Yes. Both. Okay. I promise you I've never done anything. Tell him what your pickup line to your eldest child's. Mother was. Oh, I'm listening. Oh, okay, here we the go. The thing P- that got her paternal, interest peaked. Paternal things. Got it. Is I would I looked right at her. She we worked together. She was my manager. I looked her dead in the face after she made some comment, and I went, "I will shit on your chest and fuck your titties." 
Okay, and? <laughs> it stopped her dead in <laughs> fucking her tracks. Because, <laughs> again, she was my boss. We were at work <laughs> on the clock. <laughs> and I just dead stopped, looked her flat in the face, and told her that. She, like, turned purple. She blushed so hard and just walked away. <laughs> Did she tell you she was going to put her fingers between your toes? No. What was... Okay, well, I want to know what elicited this response. He doesn't remember I had fucking said. some generic, vague comment she said about probably telling me to do my job or something. <laughs> Who knows? She had a great ass. What can I say? And you just fucking <laughs> replied, I will fucking shit on your t- chest and fuck your titties. Yes. And didn't get... Fu- I fucking envy you some days. I think I got promoted, like, two weeks later, honestly. What the fuck?! <laughs> And then I got well, he was fucking his manager. <coughs> I wasn't oh, okay. fucking her at the time. Well, okay, no, 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 no. Clue. Wow, that should have been your clue. I wasn't fucking her until she texted me something about how she was horny and that her <laughs> husband had left that day. And then I was like, "Well, I wouldn't have left you like that. I would have shit on Whoops. your chest and fucked your titties." <laughs> <laughs> and a couple fuck? weeks later, you know, I tried it out. I pooped on her chest and fucked her titties. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? I don't understand kink some days. <laughs> I don't actually want to shit on anyone's chest, though. That's the thing. Like, not my cup of tea. No, yeah, well, not you've... knocking anyone that does it, but you've come not up with some thing. creative. You've come up with some creative uh, threats to people. I've heard and folding people up and biting their vagina. <laughs> my mind is a terrible place. It's. I would give a week's pay just to walk in there for five. But you know minutes. what's really great when I laid out that thought process with the cock cage? Yeah, the look on his face was priceless. Yeah, because he was proud of you. No, <laughs> he was literally per- like he looked. He literally looked at me like l- curled his. I can't explain it. He did the scrunchy face. I did the what in the actual fuck are you talking about face? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Scrunchy face and confusion. Could have even been the what in the fuck is wrong with you? I like there's this. a and there's there's a, a specific woman that I mentioned because I noticed something, and I know women. I know how they are. Okay. This is this the photography thing? Mm-mm. No. Okay. Um. Is this the gas station attendant? Nope. Okay. Even worse. <laughs> is this the best friend? Nope. Okay. <laughs> I I I know of this woman in public, but that's it. Okay. But she made some sort of reference on social media. Okay. And I know how women are. Okay. He's dumber than a box of rocks when it comes to him. Absolutely. Uh, dude, I, right there. Yes. Dumber than a box of rocks. Me too. I turned around in the middle of the kitchen and I looked at him and I said, you better tell that bitch. And I used her name. I said, you better tell that bitch that your girlfriend is crazy and she will fucking kill her. Mm. And he stopped dead and he looked at me, and the look on his face was like, it was a cross of, are you stupid, and what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> I've seen that face before, too, when he tries to fix a snowblower. <laughs> and he was just like, what are you talking about? And I was like, you really don't. I, I was thinking in my head, I was like, he really doesn't know. And like, I How's have, he going to know? I know. <laughs> He's not going to know. How's no one's going to know. No one's going to know. <laughs> and so... And, you know, I, I before I, like, let this fall out of my face, I went to other people, of course, because I know that I can be very irrational at times. So at, I have at, to... At, I'm sorry, what? Yeah. So I have, <laughs> I have to fact check myself with other people beforehand and, like, lay the situation out. Okay. And then I wasn't crazy. Like, I'm only not Only partially. Crazy. Only partially. No, I'm not crazy. Only partially. Like, I'm not crazy. Th- this is literally something that you need to watch out for. Okay. And you, and you you told him the behavior. Uh, well, he didn't believe me. And then you had to prove it. I haven't proved it. I don't think. Uh, well, I think he's starting to. Oh, this is active. Maybe. Yeah. Oh shit. I think he's starting so, so to. So what? I, 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 mm, inquiring minds need to know now. What is this behavior that you're looking at? It's how women are with men that they are interested in. Okay, whether there's a ring present or not. Yes, I get it. Most a ring d- rings don't plug holes. I know that, right? I, I know that. I've if actually you put them in sideways. I can. Oh yeah, <laughs> uh, I've I've had to fend a few off, and that's right. right why I call you my booty guard when right. we go out in public. Right, and so it's like I I bring these things. Okay, what's the behavior you're noticing? Um, just mind. It's it's not mindless flirting. It's like outright actions. Example. 
Like this one was a Facebook comment or something. It was a Facebook comment. Okay. You know, because I shit post a lot. Uh, yes, you do. Yeah, and like she specifically was like the only person that said anything about it as far as a female goes. Um, but the, I know what it was. I'm not calling it out because I don't know who the fuck's listening to the show, and I don't know if you shared. <laughs> no, it. No, I was just gonna. Did you share the show? No. Okay. I don't think so. So this is a woman that he works with, and. There is one woman that he works with that he says terrible things to, but she is perfectly safe. I've known her since high school. Hey. Oh. Perfectly safe, but he says terrible things to her. Like, oh, absolutely. Horrible things to her. But a per- Next time, text me. <laughs> <laughs> but perfectly safe. But there's another one. And, like, he posted something about it being hard nipple season through the shirts. Oh, yeah. And she was like, not if you wear padded bras. And I'm like, okay, watch. I have some phenomenal pictures of him that she took. Same person? Yeah. Oh, wow. At work. Phenomenal pictures. And uh, I looked at him and I was like, he was like, she took pictures of everybody in the Bay. And I looked at, I looked at him and I was like, so? And he's like, she took pictures of everybody. And I was like. Number one, there's four guys. Oh, you, you, you've shown me this one. Yeah. And it was like, wait, I've seen... Uh, yeah, no, no, no. Your your pictures are way too good. I'm like, I, I looked at... I flat looked at him, and I was like, so? And he was like, kept looking at me like so. And I was like, you do realize that, like, okay, I will go around and take a picture of everybody in the room just to get the picture of the person that I want, right? And he thought that was hilarious. Yeah, because you've done that in this fucking studio. I've done that in the studio. I've done it in real life. It's just, that's what you do if you really want a picture of somebody, but you don't want to be up, go up to him and be like, "I that's want a when picture." That's you use you. the sneaker cam. Hello. No, because you use the sneaker cam, you, you can't get the pictures you want. Slide it up under the table. Get her up under the skirt. Ciao. You got the picture you want. Yeah, but for this. go to the mall, you follow him up the escalator. Mm-hmm. I will bash her face into his toolbox. Okay. Or when we went to Five Guys the other day, I was really proud of her. She didn't even make a scene or nothing. Oh, yeah. Uh-oh. <clears throat> Apparently some chick was eyeballing me really hard at, at the old Five Guys. And I saw him look in that direction <laughs> once. Mm-hmm. I saw him look in that direction. I my surroundings all the time. Yeah. yeah. And, like, I saw him stop. And so I paid attention to where he stopped. And then as we were getting up and leaving, she looked dead at him. And I was looking dead at her. And as soon as she realized I was looking at her, she stopped looking at him. Oh, wow. And I just kept walking. <laughs> I was proud of her. She didn't See, make a scene. She didn't try to fight her or nothing. I was like, okay. Yeah, and, and I have I have a w- similar instance where I'm actually coming into the savviness of when it happens. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm still... See, men miss this shit because we aren't as... Aggressive as we are. Yeah. We're yeah. out here catcalling y'all and y'all are just creeping. Well, you, you catcall. I do not. I, just, I only can't call very few people. Uh, yeah, me. I Mostly know. guys. <laughs> <laughs> and this is true. He does. <laughs> so men. So men miss it. Yeah, I, I, I have been privy to the education lately, mm-hmm. where if Rose and I are out in public, and I'm like, maybe, and I just kind of come, I go back to her. Was she flirting with me? And she's like, yeah, and I'm gonna fucking shank the bitch. I'm like. Okay, okay, she was definitely flirting. She was definitely, okay, got it. Got it. See, for me, it's it's almost as much like the idea that people find me attractive just doesn't sink in. Like I'm like, no. <laughs> I'm not good looking enough to get creeped on by random people or flirted with by random people. Like, right, right, That right. thought doesn't go in my brain. Like, it doesn't compute. I can't take a basic, simple compliment. Mm-hmm. The fuck, woman? I'm sorry. <laughs> You're belching like you're belching like the boys. I love it. I it's all the babies trying to get out. <laughs> it's from the nutty pot. God damn, I love that story. Them kids up in there fighting. Oh my god. So and and I'm still I'm still like half oblivious to it. Where it's like okay, now I'm at that. I'm very oblivious to it. Apparently. Well, we're we're <clears throat> Trevor to be to be well. We're far. we're we're at that age where the stepdaddy kink is predominant. Apparently. And or or the the because we have beards. And, and well, we she are, got a lady boner this morning watching me 
braid the little one's hair. So. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, that's a big lady boner for any woman. If you're if you're doing like subjective child care and they see it, like sitting down and reading a book, you're gonna get jumped. I suck at reading nowadays. Oh, I do too. The focus I, is so fucked. <clears throat> yeah, I have the focus. We might as well be playing video well, games. Well, my focus is fucked and my eyesight. Is bad and my glasses are all broken, so like, okay, I need to do that. So, Zenny got it. No, I need, I need <laughs> to get an exam to get I mean, another. I, oh, I, gotcha. I mean, I know I'm go, 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 go. I'm go. not jealous. No, you're protective, I'm territorial. Very, the very the vape even, shop. No, 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 back the up. Te- the tobacco shop. Oh, okay. I almost turned around and went back in that store with you. I was gonna I, say, the girl behind the counter. I know you're territorial oh. because as a friend. Walking around with you at Vape on the Bay, you were fucking like, no, don't come within five feet of this motherfucker. I am fucking his booty guard today. Mm-hmm. It's it, worse with him. I can only imagine. It's like me when I get protective of my it's friends. It's terrible when we go somewhere because I like, I have to go on guard when we go somewhere. Mm. Okay, so you're you're like me after an event. Maybe. Okay, that that guarded with people. I am continuously, if he is like, uh, especially if he's walking in front of me. If Which he's walk- you love the view. Yes, I do. Okay. If he's walking <laughs> in front of me, yeah. I'm scanning the room. Yeah, you turn into me. I don't scan the room. <laughs> I do all the time. It's same here. I'm always scanning the room and surroundings and exits and all that. Like, oh, yeah. It's nonstop. Because you got to know, if you fart too loud, you got to find the exit now. Well, you never know when the entire thing's going to blow up in your face, because that's all I ever knew. <laughs> it hasn't happened in a very long time, but you it's never because, know. It's because I changed my diet. Ah, okay, fair enough. <laughs> so, yeah, there are several instances where we go places, and I end up having to make con- eye contact with complete strangers. Mm-hmm. And I just go about my business. But and I at have... the same token, she wants to see random stranger women rub their titties on me. That's different. Stripper cookies. That's different. How is that different? It's a very strange concept to me it's as well. It's their job. No, continue. It's their job. No, I, I I get that, but it's not exactly their job to actively do it to him. They have a choice. No. Well, yeah, they do. But it's acceptable in that environment. Okay. That and if he really wants to give me up for a stripper, that's his loss. Well, no offense. Why would you go for burger and fries when you got steak and potatoes at home? That's that's just my thought process on it. Not that I have anything against strippers or steak and potatoes. <laughs> Love steak. Love steak. There's I don't that. have anything against strippers. Okay. But. We have tiny humans in the studio. I know. You can tell me after the show, Bubba. I want to tell you Okay. Something. Have mom text it to me. <laughs> I want to tell you something. I know. I, uh, I hate breaking his heart like that. <laughs> I know. I hate breaking his heart because he looks so sweet. Just, I want to tell you something. That's how they get you. I know. that. I wanted, so back you know, to strippers rubbing their give, titties in my face. Give me a dollar. <laughs> Look at my head. It's it's empty. Look at my head. It's empty. So I set up a way to a monastery. Father. Look at my head. A civilian has always been more of a threat. Yeah. Can confirm on a lot of canonicals. Yeah. So that's where it comes from. Okay. So a rand okay, okay, I see what you're saying. We're we're comparing it to the lines of strippers. Mm-hmm. Okay. So a rando chick compared to a, a rando chick which it is her job to be enticing. Mm-hmm. Got it. But why why do you get gratification off of it? I I don't know. I don't know. This is mine and you're doing that to mine? No. 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 I know it's not that. That's not my feet. <laughs> I know it's not that. Mm. I don't know what it is. Okay. Or is it just because you're you know you're uh, pleasing the edifice of titties for your man because that is his thing. She had the best titties in the place though. Nine out of ten. Uh, uh, nine out of ten. Anytime I've I've gone and I've gone with Rose to a couple titty bars and it's like 
Well, there ain't nothing compared to them fucking monsters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is a true statement. <laughs> they walk in the room like 32 seconds before she does. So. True. True. Can confirm. Can confirm. I I don't know. I, I really think it's more of like... <laughs> Sorry. What is it? The voice... Yeah. Has uh has has spoken strippers. Life sued me and I lost and now I'm this. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to lie. I would if I was if I was more confident in my body, I'd do it. Okay. I But I have a okay, um, little known fact, I have done it. Yeah, I I have been on stage a couple times, but I, that was when I, I was have, like fucking 3% body fat. Yeah, but for me it's a power thing. How so? Men are stupid over women. Oh, yeah, we put women on a ped- we put what we're attracted to on a pedestal on a grand scale. I get a kick out of that. Okay, okay, you do it for the simp mm-hmm. aspect. Okay, I get mm-hmm. that. I get that. But it's also the same coin. Now, when I go to a strip club, yeah, it's actually not sexual for me. Okay, it's artistic for me. All right. Well, for me, I, for me, when I'm, I got on stage, it was all about the goddamn money. Well, right. I don't care if these fucking housewives that aren't are being properly paid. It's well, maybe that one mm. aren't being paid properly attention. Oh, okay, that one too. Aren't being paid <laughs> properly attend attended to their needs and need to fill this uh, void with what I'm doing. They're gonna give me a shit ton of money. Now, when I see men dance, that is sexual. Okay, but when I go to a a, a strip club where females are dancing, mm. that's not sexual for me. Okay. I'm a straight woman that enjoys the female physique. Okay, so so let's go back to a previous experience you and I both shared with our group a long ass time ago. Mm-hmm. Same concept. You and I, it, I have no problem going to a male review. I, I have, love. I, them. I have no problem going. I to... love them because I love seeing people dance. Thank you. And it's an and, art form. Yeah. And the yes. body and the way they fucking take care and had to for get men, the way. But for men, yes. I, I enjoy you, you more seeing. It. Yes. Okay. Because you put it in a sexual context. Yes. I'm putting it as a, a hard work complex because my time as a body, my time bodybuilding and weightlifting. Mm-hmm. I'm just sitting there going, dude, appreciate what you fucking there did. Was that this is one a dude, lot of the work. The first male review I ever saw, I will never forget this motherfucker. Mm. He was not like. He was not your stereotypical hard body. Okay. But he did have a flat stomach and he did have a beefy chest. Okay. So he was half of us. But he's <laughs> fucking, uh, his fucking thighs. Oh, yeah. He, he had thunder trunks. Clydesdale. Okay. That's, that man is okay, more the so, term. More so that, than these two? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. What pants did he wear when he was out? He like, wasn't normal wearing life? any, Steve. I, I didn't. You didn't ask, ask him for like normal ask. life. Mm. Damn it! Didn't. He, he <laughs> you was, didn't ask him for you a normal life. Facebook so we can look him up. He was broad everywhere. Yeah, I need to know what pants he wears. I don't know. I have no fucking clue. TikTok him or something. And he had, TikTok him or but it was shit. like his, and that's where that term came from. Mm. Him, Clydesdale thighs that I say came from him. Okay. Because he was. Literally, his entire body was built like a Clydesdale. Okay. Not overly heavy, muscular. Just heavy and muscles. Yeah, I was going to say heavy, heavy and yeah. working muscle. Yes. Okay. And... Whoa. Okay. So, Tripper, you and I have goals. <laughs> We gotta start. Th- we gotta start I just playing gotta catch. Lose the body fat, really. Like well, I have we, the big dumb working muscles. He does. Know, all we gotta do is start playing catch with bowling balls. I mean, there's again. That. <laughs> Crushing watermelons with our thighs, and it'll be bowling balls. Yep. <laughs> when I crush and Gary's watermelon pulp, shut up Not and eat and, it. And <laughs> and I crush man's head enjoy, between thighs like watermelon. I enjoy <laughs> like when I go see females strip. Okay, I enjoy the pull tricks. Oh yeah, like Absolutely. the Cirque du Soleil what bullshit? Yes. yes. Yeah. But men, they actually dance. Mm-hmm. They have because yeah. Okay. Canonically, a man dancing on a pole. Not, I've seen it. I've seen it as well. I've it, also. It was nice. My favorite. My favorite. It's all about the firefighter <laughs> and the Ghostbuster. Uh, I've seen the Ghostbuster. That was that was a trip and a half. It was uh, a Halloween stage review. One of the gentlemen dressed as a Ghostbuster. It was fantastic. The guy. The guy was very creative. Carla's fortieth birthday party. Yes, indeed. Um. Jen and a bunch of the girls got together, mm-hmm. 
and they rented the Vegas Gentleman's Mail Review with the bus for Carla's 40th birthday. Oh, I bet you she was in heaven. She was. Oh, good. <laughs> good, because she's horny. Yes. <laughs> like, all the time. Yes. <laughs> that <sighs> was a unforgettable night. <sighs> Nothing inappropriate. Oh, darn. Surprisingly. Darn. <laughs> surprisingly with male strippers. But yeah, I can confirm. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, do was, I have a few stories. <laughs> but it was it was a lot of fun because Jen knew the DJ that yeah. ran the mail review there. Okay, and so that was a good night. Okay, and yes, folks, I will be sharing how the uh, not today, but how the mail stripper thing came to fruition for my dumb ass gotta try everything once that was part of okay fine fuck it that was part of it my roommate at the time was a male stripper and i i forever None, the fact dude, that you've done this does not surprise me i for i for real thought the dude was gay <laughs> oh because of how much time he spent in the mirror he had to well i didn't know that that was like a thing mm-hmm I really didn't, and and he taught me a lot of good fucking tips for how to you know step up the step up the clothes, mm -hmm. like brown. I didn't know brown shoes, brown belt. I, yeah, when I was when I was your belt I'm wearing brown shoes, and I think a black belt right. Yeah, now. same. Your shoes are supposed to match your belt. Yeah, that's I did a not, woman rule too. I did not know those. It's just a I fashion I, rule. No, look where look how I grew. I know. I'm I'm in the middle of fucking Midwest suburbia hell. They don't teach this shit in school. <laughs> That's where I learned it. I did not learn it in school. I was more focused on getting the fuck out of school, mm -hmm. apparently. So yeah, and and he got me. He's like, dude, this, that, and the other thing. And you just got a, you just got a, a remarkable score on your PT test mm -hmm. for the military and stuff. What is your, what is your, you know, pinch test? What is your BMI? Shit like that. I'm like, I, I don't know these things. He's like, all right, cool. Are you open minded? I've always been open minded. Just not open butt. <laughs> Father O'Donohue. <laughs> yeah. But I digress. Uh, so we just, he just, he, he basically negged me into doing it. He's like, I bet you can't, I bet you, motherfucker, I bet you can't even fucking hold a beat and blah, 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 blah. And I was like, I bet you can't even grab that pole with your butt cheeks, spin around it. <laughs> Have you ever grabbed one of them poles? No. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> No, I have not. <laughs> Whole new respect for anybody that can work one if you do. So, I feel like I'd tear the fucker off of there accidentally. Plant my feet and go to tug on it to be all honestly, like, honestly, I oh see, shit, I see Tripper doing a Hulk smash by accident. <laughs> Oops, ripped the pole off the floor again. <laughs> Oops, I crapped my pants. <laughs> now I'm kind of curious as to whether you could climb one. Who, me or him? Him. Okay. Maybe so. That yeah, left that's arm that's a that's how yeah. that's how my that's how AJ got me on stage basically, and I I was impressed with the first night of takings, and yeah, it was just it was amateur night. I'm like, what the fuck? There's a whole guy side to this, and then mm -hmm. you're like, wait, there's another half this titty bar. Yeah, I <laughs> oh, didn't know. That's that's not titty. Well, I knew Chippendales thing. I knew Chippendales. But I didn't know like there were things that weren't Chippendales. I'd be up were... there looking like Chris Farley right now. Oh, dude, right now, definitely. <laughs> I have let dad my... bods are in. Yeah, but not yeah. the way we dance. I have no <laughs> dancing ability either. Yeah, I, no, I have back issues. Yeah, guys do have to be able to dance. <laughs> guys do have to be able to dance. Because otherwise, yeah. I'd just be like standing up there like pole starting a mower or something all day. <laughs> You'd be like, what in the fuck is that guy doing? Is he having a seizure? Is he working? <laughs> <laughs> is he just literally wrenching on a lawnmower up there? What in the fuck? <laughs> Boy, I tell you what, I'm just sitting out here in an alley drinking a beer. <laughs> I'll fucking do it. I don't care. We can start this. Strip. I feel like we could make tens of dollars on it. Oh, absolutely. Tens of quarters. Yeah. <laughs> just making it in hail. Yeah, we just lost the rest of the tens and tens of listeners. <laughs> They tuned out all male review of just dudes. Well, doing I mean, stuff. we've talked about doing the 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 Bad Habits Network calendar the, for quite the some dude time. War. The dude war. I'm game. I'm still game. Now we're doing a dude war review. Now that's what we're talking about. It's like, all right, cool. Let's do this shit. Fuck it. Meanwhile, women are just making it rain. <laughs> Hail simulcast. I have a ring light now. Say again. I have a ring light now. What the. Oh, that kind of ring light. Step mm -hmm. up your okay. dick pic games. 
It's not for No, you t- you told this on the last one. You told this on the last one too cuz he's going to stick his dick through it. Still, yeah, that's what he keeps saying. Still in the box. <laughs> yeah. So is the nutty pot. Well, it's got a whole it's got like <laughs> Yeah, it, it does. This <laughs> is a whole kit. Like there's a stand, it's an 18-inch oh, yeah. ring. And then you got the, a bag. The, uh, then you got the clip for your GoPro and or mm-hmm. your It's like what we used to have here. The magnifying mm-hmm. lens. Yeah, well, that's for mm, that's for naughty night. That fish angle, so it looks real big. No, uh, so and the thing angry. I was trying to allude to was you and I actually have one thing that we will fucking put everything on pause for. If there's a friggin' drag review, we're there. Yeah, there's one coming up, and I told him, I was like, I don't remember where it is, though. There's one weekly in the town we don't go to anymore that you work at. <laughs> no, I don't want to go to one of theirs. Aw. Well, maybe we'll have to go to Milwaukee. I'll, we'll have to find... No, there's one local soon. What? In February. What in the ass? And we don't have kids. What in the ass? Mm-hmm. Oh, fuck yeah, let's do this. Mm-hmm. I'm going to bring her. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be great. I told him, I was like, babe, you've got to see this. I was oh, like, it, they're fucking it's great. Like a, it's like a male belly dancer. You can't not look. Right. Oh, my God. Mm-hmm. And they're so beautiful people personality-wise as well. They are. Yes, we can get fucking gross and grotesque, but we also have another side to us where it's like, oh my god, we appreciate the I'm other. I'm the open... bitch that sits down with the strippers we at the strip talk. clubs. I, we do. We have serious conversations. And I'm that weird dude who's fucking that I'm... black chick that I really like. We sat there yeah. and talk about her kid. Fuck yeah! And I I'm... I asked her. I was like, how the hell? I said, you look like you've been doing this forever. And I'm that. And w- she was like, I've been doing it since September. There you go. And I was like, damn. She's like, I'm just a quick learner. And yeah. I'm like, okay. And we started talking about her kid, and she's sitting down there collecting her money, just smiling that, at me, and we're having a good old conversation. And I'm that dude with that weird superpower where people just feel compelled to let their hairs down around me. And if you don't talk authentically to me, you're telling me your life story. Yes. It's like, what the fuck? Yes. I told him the other night. We've had like, shows that people regret because of that. Yeah. <laughs> I told him the other night, I was like, I was always like the bubbly, literally, for the longest time, I was like... I was the person, and I'm not, I literally did this. I'm not tooting my own horn or being arrogant. No, that's his job. I walked (laughs) into a bar, Mm -hmm. and I literally lit the room up. I have to figure out where this place is. It's the hotel one. Yeah. Oh, no shit. Yeah, Yeah, we had to figure that out, too, because... I'd never heard of the place. Yeah, yeah. it's changed names every fucking time I change pants. That's Mm -hmm. There's a bunch of those in this town. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I told him, I was like, I was the person, I came into the bar, and ah. everybody, I lifted everybody's mood mm. just being there. And I was like, and now, I'm the guy at the end of the bar that minds his own business that you need to watch. And I was like, people stare at me. I'm both. People stare at me, like, side-eyed, constantly when I'm in the bar. I just sit at the bar and drink and just sit there. Yeah, and, and and I I like being both. I I I'm the weird. Well, most of the oh, time well, I've weird. been going to the bar by myself, and when I go to the bar by myself, I want you to leave me the fuck alone. Oh yeah. Um. Or I've had a nice long day where I didn't really talk to anybody canonically, and I need some fucking social interaction, please. I can't do that anymore. I have to because I used to like there was there's one person that when I used to go to the bar all the time when Jen was a bartender. <sighs> Uh, him and I could sit down, we could get drunk, and we would have deep philosophical conversations. Uh, and that's why you and I drink together. <laughs> and it was like it was the type of philosophical conversations where this like metaphorical bubble formed around us, and no one would come within five feet of us. Okay. And I can't do that anymore because you can't have those conversa- You can't have those conversations with drunk people <sighs> anymore. No, because everyone's too fucking sensitive. I will fucking start a bar fight. Yeah, and I have. With Rob. (laughs) And if you get me on the wrong day, I'll do it on purpose. Ah, so we can't drink together anymore. (laughs) Oh, the other day. Uh Uh-oh. Okay, last story, huh? Sure. Okay, the other day. I almost lost my shit. Just, I've been working from home. (laughs) <laughs> Which means she went three days without even stepping out of the house. Literally, yeah, yeah, I didn't step yeah, outside. That's not good for her. That's not good for any of us. Eh, I'd be all right with it. I mean, when when uh, shit, I literally mid- crave de- that. Yeah, mid December. 
mid December when all that bullshit for me started, I was out at the fire pit. See, I literally crave just not having to do a fucking thing. Same. Not having to do But it's impossible the because there's always something that needs to be the goddamn always. done. Always. Kids, work, appointments, everything. Hobbies. Like, God forbid we want to do anything together. It's like trying to squeeze that shit in around the innate desire to just nothing. Yeah. <coughs> I've actually had to make time, reserve time during the day. It's like, all right, it's, it's 7 o'clock. I'm dropping everything. <laughs> Including my pants. Johnny. I still remember that Mexican that could barely see over her tits. Yes. When you got all mama bear. You were there. I don't recall this. I don't think he was. It no, was... he was. Was he... I dr- Was I drinking? Yes. <laughs> it was me, you, Michael, Johnny, and him. Okay. And we were at the one on Kellogg. Car. And... I don't know that Gary was there. Gary was there. Was okay because oh, was this the one night Tripper got to go drinking? Well, he us? wasn't drinking, but he, he went wasn't. With us. He went with us. Yeah, he and went we wound, with us. We went. We wound up at the favorite place. Yeah. Okay. And um, me and somebody else. Well, the woman I don't like anymore was there. One of Rob's ex. I, I don't think Gary was there. No, I wasn't there for that. You sure about that? I'm pretty sure because the last time I went with Rob and her, that person, Shit, Rob wasn't there. Okay. No, it wasn't there. I no, don't, I don't think Gary was there. I went outside Gary to smoke. Know. I went. <laughs> I went outside to smoke with her, and I came back in, and this Mexican dude, shorter than me, tiny little dude, was little guy probably syndrome. about three feet away from him, and the look on his face was just you could see by his the way he was posed up mm-hmm. and the look on his face that he was thinking trouble mm-hmm. and he was looking right at tripper and i walked in and i saw this i came back in from outside and i saw this and i'd been drinking i could not i i woke up the next day and i was like i cannot fucking believe i did that and i like <laughs> profusely apologized to him i walked in walked around him put myself between him and this Mexican Mm -hmm. and literally got nose to nose with him and made eye contact and just looked at him. Oh, you stared his ass down. Got it. Yeah. And And then the bartender threw him out. And I was like, I I asked him what his problem was and he started running off the mouth. I have absolutely no idea what the fuck he was saying. Mm -hmm. He starts taking his shirt off. Mm Mm-hmm. And the bartender came over, and I like didn't. No, I definitely wasn't here for that because that would have that would have made a mark in my memory. I didn't <laughs> even see her coming. The mm-hmm. next thing I knew, she got between us and was like, "Is there a problem?" and kicked him out. And I stood, never fucking moved. All right, well, that's you. Face to face with this dude between him and dude, and he never fucking moved, never even flinched. Mm-hmm. And then the next day, I was like. Oh my God, I can't believe I did that. And I turn, I look at him, I'm like, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. (laughs) Well, at least you got somebody that'll cut a bitch. Well, I mean, (laughs) it would have been unfair for me to pick on the dude. He was tiny. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, so Napoleon, got it. Yeah, he had little guy syndrome, something fierce. And Yeah, we've dealt with that a lot. Apparently me just sitting there minding my own fucking business triggered him in some fucking way. Oh boy. (laughs) So yeah. You know. So before he got a chance to open his mouth and potentially fuck around and find out, I got in between it. Oh, wow. Okay. And that's what Johnny's talking about. Okay. I would have definitely remembered that. And Johnny and Michael just stood there. They're like... <laughs> Did this just they were like, <laughs> ready to, They were like standing there like, okay, we're going to have to fuck up this little Mexican. And they're like, oh, wait, no. <laughs> no, nope, Cody's got it. Cody's Shit. there. Hold up. <laughs> Hold up. Yeah. I still am surprised that Michael didn't do anything, but he probably just stood back watching. Just he was he probably, probably waiting for him amused. to get tossed out, and I'm like, I'm going to go out to my trunk, and I have a special present. No, he was actually <laughs> that's no, a secret. No, for he was actually probably amused. <laughs> he was probably getting his kicks out of watching me. He was mm. probably like, "Fuck, I want to watch that guy swing on Tripper and like break his hand on his face because <laughs> <laughs> then Tripper's going to hit him <laughs> <laughs> with that steel." But arm. I think it's funny. But well, I felt okay. I think. Okay. It's funny because there were three guys. No fries. Three guys, no fries. Okay. And 
I'm the one that said something. Okay. But then the next day I was like, oh my God, I emasculated him. Blah, 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 blah. That's probably what started him to take his shirt off. <laughs> no, him. I was worried about emasculating oh, him. Oh, tripper. Got because it. I got between them. It takes no, a lot more than that fine. to emasculate me. I'm a man's man. <laughs> well, yeah, we know, baby. <laughs> <laughs> but then I got to thinking about it and I'm like, I was the only person out of three guys willing to do anything. Well, it's more of a calculated move. <laughs> yeah. Any one of us had stepped to him, dude, would have fucking started swinging like a little pissed off chihuahua. Yeah, would not have hesitated. You he... stepped to him and he was like, fuck, what do I do? I I'm going to take my to, clothes I off. To, I have to bolster <laughs> shit. I have to fucking... I, I didn't know there was going to be bragging. <laughs> Johnny says, I know I was laughing. Would have been a different story if he was trying to swing. <laughs> this is the thing, like, yeah. Dude, dude wasn't no, even I'm trying not... to swing. He was like doing the like... I'm a chest bump out like I'm a big bad tough guy and I'm like Chihuahua dude <laughs> I'm like no, my, my thigh weighs more than you do <laughs> and my, it, it's not my it, it, it's not the like it, it, like Johnny it would have been a different thing that's not what I was talking about not, when I said it was three guys I was like I stood there I'd still surprise myself with this I don't know why I surprise myself but I do there were yeah, three, no, it would have been a totally different story there if were I was involved, three, trust me. <laughs> there were three men there, mm-hmm. and I'm the one that got nose to nose. Well, you were, to be, to be, you were picking on somebody your own size and giving him the same <laughs> opportunity. <laughs> you wanted him to make a bad life decision worth it. <laughs> I think I actually asked him, why are you taking your shirt off? <laughs> Probably. <clears throat> Jeez, oh, beads. I, you know what? We need to go out again. That that needs to happen. <laughs> like us going out, not to that the titty any- bar. Yeah, let's do it. Fuck it. I mean, no, you- dude, to the drag review. Fuck this. Yeah, yeah. I sent you the link. Yes, and I'm mm-hmm. I'm gonna be sending forwarding the other I link be, because I'd be game to go. Yeah, mm-hmm. one the it's. But you have to dress up. No, I don't have to dress up nothing. Yes, no, I'm gonna lumberjack that shit. I'm gonna full dad tuck the. Flannel I gotta look at. I gotta this. look at the event again and see what it's for. Oh, I know what it's. No, all mm-hmm. right. It's gonna have a theme. Okay. I don't give a fuck about no theme. <laughs> Will you please <laughs> let me dress you up now and then? No. Like fuck you. I'm manly, going to buy manly it's dress not, up. Yes. I have a site for you. Uh, it's not me. I don't care. Every lady's crazy about a sharp dressed man, even if he's trash. Once in a while, <laughs> all I have to do is squat down in these jeans, and it's <laughs> the jeans there. are gone. Once well, there while. is that problem. <laughs> you can wear your boots. You can wear your jeans. Just let me have the top. Just let me have the torso. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because there, there are c- good combinations with denim and a tie. Mm-hmm. Just let me have the torso. Things I learned. Babe, you already <laughs> have a picture of this somewhere in her mind. Once. No, so, I actually have no, a picture No, she of took it. me to some fucking hoity-toity I took him to Macy's. fucking place. And- no, you don't even need Macy's. I'll send you the link. It's cheap, ten times cheaper than Macy's. He's got to try it on. Yeah, nothing fits no, me like it should. No, no. You got to get it tailored. That's that's the trick that most I'm men... I'm not getting shit tailored for him. You should. I would love to. Look at to. those thighs. I would love Look to. Look at those thighs. I would love to. <laughs> but trying to put something tailored on him is like trying to dress up a lion okay so guys if you like what you're hearing and you're hearing what you like click the heart icon on spreaker click the share icon to let other people know that you're just as depraved as we are and also we're on the youtubes we are definitely youtube in it kind of somehow, somehow. <coughs> they, they keep they, they, they check them out before they take it's them down. circular yeah it is very because we put them up they tear them right the fuck down yeah <laughs> I don't know. The last one's still up, though. Mm-hmm. So I digress. Uh, follow us on Facebook and the Instagrams and actually the, tw- the Twitters. We're on the Twitters. Tripper's soon to be on the Twitters. Maybe. Maybe. Probably not. Probably not. The Twatters. Don't do it. Twitagra. No, dude. Do don't. it because the way you shit post, it won't get knocked down. It will. You will not have... I don't know. It might take the thrill of the alkylades out. I'm going to have to get my Twitter back. Yeah, I mean, it's... <laughs> I'm bringing Twitter back. <laughs> hey, it's safer than Facebook. But, like, is it really worth it without the risk? Like, you know the risk shit posted on Facebook. Get a Rumble account? What the fuck is Rumble? How many fucking accounts are out? I am... I don't, I don't know, man. I'm gonna, have to, I'm gonna have task. to fucking look at Rumble now because I just I just downloaded a new Y'all one. Y'all do know I'm employed, right? Like, 
Yeah. Fuck, I ain't got time to be on that oh, shit Oh, I just fucking, I downloaded Signal because Elon Musk told me to. I got <laughs> Signal because my brother's on it. No, well, there's that. Like, that's how I communicate with him. Beyond that, I don't think I have anybody on there. Okay, well, you can put me on there. Okay. You probably... What in the fuck? Paint me like one of your French girls? The Dudoir. The <laughs> Dude Oh, okay. So... Again, guys, we're wrapping it up. Um, hey, fucking, there's a rumble in it. He finally, yes. Kepke, where the fuck yeah. have you been? He's probably pissed that he's we're not. He's zoned out. He's he, like, that was so fucking he's pissed, boring. He's pissed out. He's pissed off. He's pissed out. He's pissed off that we're not on Discord anymore. Better to be pissed Kepke. off than pissed on. What the fuck? <laughs> We've been here for like two hours. Where the fuck Literally, have you been? we're wrapping it up, dude. Wrap it up. Yes, yeah, so you could have been here by now, and we would have done another hour if you would have just traveled your ass. <laughs> That's never stopped oh, look you. At that. Yeah, that's true. Uh, Gary Hammers is Hammers is. Yeah, I'm I'm on the signals. All right, guys. So again, if you like what you hear, you hear what you like. Just let us know. Click the likes and all that other stuff. Share this shit. Just I don't know. Fucking grab the link. Send it to your fucking worst enemy slash coworker, <laughs> 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 or people with the sick and sad same sense of humor as we have. Just, I'm biting the mic. Yes, you are. At least the phone part. So, guys, anyone got any more fucks to give? I have one left. <laughs> really? What the fuck? He's. I put money in my mouth and it grosses no, him out. It's the fact that you're biting a phallic shaped object. I'm about to put my penis in there. I bite your penis. I've no more fucks to give. My fucks have run up dry. I've tried to go fuck shopping, but there's no fucks left to buy. I've no more fucks to give. No more fucks I've tried to get. I'm over my fuck budget and I'm now in fucking debt. 